Yo, yo, yo. Good morning, y'all. I'm just seeing if I can get my rank, my rank showing on the stream here. Doctor, is your stream? What's up? What's up, Ruben? You were the first one here. Respect. How you doing? What's up, Seth? What's up, y'all? Good morning. Manco? getting there hold your horses what's up American how you doing sup Ignacio well, good morning all everyone hybrid Timo's just kind of for funsies I would highly suggest um, AP team or on hit Timo now I am going on hit Timo every single game with amazing success that I'll show you all again in a second but um AP Timo is so good right AP Timo is not bad I just think on hit people are sleeping on what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm setting up um, a widget so I can show the account on stream that we're playing on for the series. <laughs> oh yeah, Marshmallow. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, look how pretty this is. Check this out. How cool is technology, man? Look at this, ready? Chevy's gonna have to go away for a second. Chevy, bye-bye. Look at these options. Look. We have, um... Ooh, what, what what do we think? One, two, three, four. I think four looks pretty cool. Five. Four is my favorite, I think. What do y'all think? Three, four. One's pretty simple. I like four. But it doesn't show the win rate. It doesn't show the win rate on that one. Three or four? I do like four, although it's just going to be Teemo, so that kind of loses a little pizzazz, right? These are like the classics. What about that, what about that one? That one looks good. It rotates the one, right? I think I like this one. Okay. Let's see if we can get this on there because I'm a pro. I know what I'm doing, technology. Okay, we're gaming, aren't we? Q 
Okay, boom. And we come over here and do this as well. Should we even slap it in game? Why not? This YouTube series is legit just for this account, so we may as well, right? Put on everything. Because it's unranked to challenge with this account. I like that. How does that look? That looks pretty clean, right? All right, let's do it. Let's game. Good morning, y'all. So everybody, welcome into the stream. This is my weekly Saturday stream where I play on one account and one account only. The account name right above me is called For YouTube Only. It is an educational unranked to challenger series on YouTube with this account just for YouTube's eyes. I will never play with it on Twitch, never play with it off stream. We're kind of doing the grind together to challenger here. And I try to be more educational, informational in this kind of stream so y'all can kind of see how we get that carry job done kind of deal. So that's gonna be the angle here. Also, if y'all haven't been paying attention, we've been popping the frick off, okay? Your boy's a clickbait challenger? Y'all, we might, we might, we might run run the table here. This is my main account. This is where I'm at right now. I've been, I don't know if y'all missed it over at Twitch yesterday, but I beat the brakes off TF Blade. That was like the peak of my career. Guys, I'm 29, I've got a bad back, I'm on my deathbed. I'm out here gaming. I'm making TF Blade look like an old grandpa blade. It's going, it's going wonderfully, everybody. So if you haven't kept up with Twitch, like we've been making moves, we really have been. It's been wild. D4 E6 LP team of main hell yeah. Whoa, Nightbot, what is that? We're not sponsored today. What's going on here? Nightbot's trolling me, guys. Hey, perfect Q pop. Okay. We're good. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I have a nice little cup of coffee. I'm ready to rumble. Are you all ready to rumble? Good morning, everybody. Thanks for being here. I'm gonna stick with the Aatrox band. He's like my kryptonite. Scooty, what's up? What's up, little one? What you doing? Scoot's going a little crazy today. Can y'all see her right now? Let me see. Let me see if I can make it bigger. Scoot, what you doing? Come here. Come here, Scooty. He's, oh, she's leaving. She's a wild child. Crazy. What's up, Gossin? How you doing? Any hey, Nori suggest banning for new two main? I would suggest banning based on your rank. So a little picture of how to do that. I think it's a pretty good skill to learn. So whenever I'm playing something like, you know, whenever I need to ban, I go to LO Analytics, and there's plenty of websites with data, but this is just the one I use. And I go to my rank. So right now on this account, I'm playing in silver. So I'll go NA. I'll go to silver right here, and we'll go top lane. You sort by pick rate. Right? Okay, I'm playing Teemo. Well, I love versus Garen. Garen's a freebie. I hate versus Mord. We ban Mordekaiser. Now, if you're, you know, if you're Diamond Teemo main, okay, you go to Diamond. Aatrox shits on me. I'm a ban Aatrox. Boom. And you just do it. I think that's the only way to ban. Don't ban off emotion. Ban off what the stats give you. Because, like, yeah, I hate laning Heimer's Teemo, but Heimer's got, like, a 0.00... .00 Look, he's got a 0.41 pick rate. So the Heimer does stress me out. I hate Lenny Heimer, but the chances are they're not going to pick him. And we're versing Orn this game. So that's an on-hit Timo angle. I will play AP today if I must, but I think on-hit Timo is way better and it's super freaking fun. 
So I'm gonna stick with the one hundred time as much as I can. Might even mess around and go cut down this game just to melt Orn. Cut down would only be good versus Orn though, it would be bad versus everybody else. So maybe we don't go for that. This seems good. We're gonna go um, Blade of the Rune King, Rage Blade, Wits End. That's why I set up this game. Probably Merc Treads as well, so I don't get one tapped by Annie. Let's do it. Good luck. Have fun, everyone. All right, let's boogie. First game of the day. The hands are cold, right? My coffee's not even in my system yet. I have a little blend. I've got a little coffee, then some green tea. So I think I'm going to get pretty energized today. Okay, on hit Teemo, for those who aren't aware, this build is insane. I have a 75% win rate over my past 40 games of on hit Teemo, all in Grandmaster and Challenger. So I am killing it with it, and I think that nobody else is doing it right now. So if you like on hit Teemo, it's a little bit harder but it definitely is worth investing into. So the setup I've been tweaking over the past two weeks as I play with the build more and learn it, Doran's Blade is the money. Doran's Blade, unironically, is the best item for starting team. I started off with going coal, and then I was getting pooped on going coal. Then I went dark seal with a refillable, and I'm like, okay, I don't even need the AP. Now we get Doran's Blade. The secret synergy with this is that Doran's Blade allows you to get your overheal, like, going asap right doran's blade and vamp scepter because i build blade of the rune king okay boom i get vamp scepter first like now boom i have life still i have omni vamp my overheal is just churning from like level three so doran's blade definitely is a ticket and then omni vamp scales so it's pretty cool Burst Orn, I'm gonna go Boots of Speed, then I'll be going Blade of the Rune King and Rage Blade, then I'll get Merc Treads and Wit's End. That's gonna be my build this game. After that, who cares, right? We should win by then. Damn. I like black coffee, but that shit is potent. With Teemo, you decide your build before the game. Like, you kind of have to make a decision. Do I want to go AP or AD? Do I want to go this, that? But you, you decide that in champ select. You shouldn't just be winging it. You could wing it like a third or fourth item, but you shouldn't be winging your whole your whole build in, in, in game. Let me, uh, remind me to, ch on my first base, remind me to change it to champion names. I do display names when I'm in high low, because like, oh my god, reverse TF played, holy crap! But... I think I want to go regular champ names. We get level two, nice. Get the three autos, look at that. Little chunk of Rooney. Evelyn kind of stinks early, so I'm not even going to worry about being ganked until later. Ow. Okay, we got his ward though, that's pretty cool. Kane cleared out all of Evelyn's jungle, so we're looking real good. We can just do whatever we want for a little bit here. Oh, I, of course, like I, I had to miss my first count of the day. I have to. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a ritual at this point, right? This is my first game of the day. Okay, I gotta get warmed up. I'm not really too focused on killing him early. I'd rather hit my CS and not be a noob. But if I get a kill, like that's cool. But I, I don't, I don't like forcing kills anymore in lane. I feel like whenever I'm trying really hard to get a kill, I end up dying. So I kind of just chill in the early game. Like I'm down to auto him a little bit, right? If you know the shoe fits, I'll get a kill. If not, it's all good. Get my CS with some of it, of course. But that's a good laning phase so far. Up four CS, that's cool. I don't think everyone's gonna gank me. I'm not even gonna ward. Stop building an item. I won't let you. Okay, good job team. Go, go gadgets. I don't want a base till I get at least 900 gold.
He he knew I was good. This guy's kind of good, right? I'm playing in silver, but I have a high win rate, so I'm also gonna verse other champion, other people that might be gaming. Okay, and this guy's pretty good. Whenever I go to CS, he tries to whack me with this bullshit. I respect it. Oh, this is gonna hurt. I got the blind off though, which is big. If you don't get that blind off, he kind of just claps you up. But I did get the blind off. That was huge. Now we can set up a dive if he decides to stay. We don't care. About, remember, Evelyn's weak early, so we, we're just going to disre disrespect her presence. We'll take it. That could be worse. He misses that whole wave, right? So it's a one for one. He misses all that wave and pushes back to me. We're kind of gaming. We have a nice build lined up there. That's pretty good. And it's my warm-up game. If I was five, if I was like a couple hours in, I probably don't die there, but that's still a really good outcome. Hey, Smiley. Um, I do play Teemo Jungle still, but Teemo Jungle is like 14 times harder than top lane. So it's like, if I want to be the best player I could be, if I don't want to be 1,000 LP on top of the world, right? If I want to go to the grocery store and people are like, oh my God, aren't you the best team in the world? You got to play top lane. Jungle's hard as hell. But I still play jungle. And that's just like the meta changes, right? When I started playing jungle 10 years ago, it was actually not that bad, but now it's pretty bad. Best build for Teemo is on hit. People just haven't realized yet. AP is still fine though. What's up, Legacy? How you doing? Um, if I'm not going for kills, is Ignite still worth it? Yes, because even if I'm not like breaking my back doing trying to get 15 kills, you are still gonna get kills, right? Like when I say not going for kills, I am going for kills. I'm just not like over overextending. I'm not like doing all the extra things. I'm just kind of farming and letting the game come to me. Also, you don't have a choice because if you don't go Ignite, there's really nothing else that's good on Teemo. So it's like, if you're not going Ignite, what are you going? Teleport? I'm going to see, like, there, I'm not going to try and kill him. I'm just going to take that trade and get my CS, right? That's what I mean by not going for kills. Just not doing anything crazy. All right, now I'm, like, invincible in lane, right? I have so much sustain. I've got my Doran's Blade with the 3% Omni Vamp. I have Life Steal for my Vamp Scepter. Like, sure, I'm not going to one-shot him with a Nasher's Tooth, but, like... I'm going to be very durable just by, by sustaining. Remember, my overheal gives me a shield whenever I, I heal, right? So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to have a little shield here soon. It's stacking up. Okay, so Kane is in trouble. He's about to get pooped on. So instead of going for that fight, I'm just going to shove. Orin's going to go kill him. That's fine. I can't do anything about that. I'll just shove the wave, right? That's all I can do. I'll take it. I'll even get his pink ward. That's fine. I'm not going for that fight, right? No way, Jose. But instead of going for that fight, I push the wave in, Orn used ult, and I get a plate. So it's like we still get something for doing nothing. That's kind of like top lane in a nutshell. Evelyn could be nearby, but, you know, I should actually start being scared of her. Maybe after this wave, I'll be scared. Couple autos, right? Chomu's boss. Okay, and now I'm gonna be a little scared. I'm not just gonna be on his turret all day. So far, we're looking good. 20 CS lead on one on one. That's not bad. Let him get cut. If he gets comfortable, so he has no ult, right? This guy's no ult. Ooh. Mm. Well, thank God I'm stealth, aren't I? Please don't hit me with your abilities. We knew Evelyn was nearby. Okay, we're gonna go for it. Evelyn should be based, right? There's no way she's still here. Thank God we respected the Evelyn, right? Jesus Lord, I, I I literally said like Evelyn's gonna be nearby and she was in the freaking bush. Holy. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I feel like I know what the enemy's doing before they know what they're doing. I did get lucky with that shroom though. Also, I knew Evelyn was nearby. Okay, so what a lot of high low League of Legends players do, you just like store information, right? So, Here's kind of the thought process. It's hard to explain. Educational content is hard, right? So pretty much when Kane died over here, so Kane died here to Evelyn, Annie, and Orn. And I and I heard Orn use his ult. I didn't need to see him use his ult. I heard it. So since they killed Kane here, I knew Evelyn was gonna try and get our camps over here. So and after she gets the camps over here, then she's gonna swing it to top lane. And I pushed one wave and then I said, okay, now I gotta kind of respect it. And that's like, 
I just store all that in my information. I can't say that as I'm leaning, but it's all up there in the noggin. So like here, it's like, hey, Evelyn's down bottom. When she disappears, what is she gonna do? Is she gonna just come top lane? No, she's probably gonna go do Drake, right? Or she might go do Gromp or just somewhere in the bot lane. Kind of just have to piece it together with the information you have. Okay, so now I have no Ignite. Warren can unironically kill me. This guy's kind of a beast. Um, so right now I'm in the mindset, like, I'm just chilling until I get my Bork, right? Because I have no Ignite. I don't want to die. We're looking for 825 gold. So I'm just going to chill till that, and I'm going to base, and we'll be off to the races. Once you get Bork, you kill everybody. That's why I like on Hitimo so much. It's, like, very easy. Hey, I can do whatever. Like, I have to play save till I get Bork. Once I get Bork, I just, like, kill everybody. It's cool. Maybe not, like, Ribbon with Ignite. I think we're okay here. I'm having some good blinds. Okay, we're out. I go get my Bork. I come back to lane 14 times stronger. We're looking good. I don't need to get this plate right. I don't need the gold from it. Bork's what we're looking for. I'm gonna get blue just so I can use it on her Gromp. Okay, so now I got my Bork. Really early Bork, 10 minutes. Now I'm just gonna shred it worn. The damage from this is gonna be insane. And then we're gonna start building Rage Blade and then Merc Treads after. And then Wits End after. The only thing I can die to right now is Evelyn, right? If Evelyn gangs top, I'm screwed, but she probably is gonna be around mid lane. I'm gonna put this here. So if she farms that, I can see it. I would think Evelyn's mid, so I'm just gonna assume she's mid and just run top lane. All right, if this guy even thinks about fighting me, he's gonna die so quickly. Okay. The fact that he's not even scared of me makes me think Evelyn's here. Like, bro, you've been playing safe all game. Now he's just walking up like he owns a place. Something is not right. Check him PC. That's not normally. Evelyn also hasn't been on the map for a while, so we're going to chill for a second. I'm going to try and, like, bait it out here. Like, hey, I'm just a little Tiva in the forest. There's no way this guy's been playing safe and all of a sudden... Okay, Evelyn's bottom. Cool, cool, cool. So maybe he's just... This guy's just a... A dweeb. If he ever lets me get a couple autos, he's dead. Oh, I'm pretty sure he's dead here. Watch the Bork damage. Ready? Okay, you know what? That's fine. I let him live. I felt bad. Evelyn was not top. I, I was lied to. We're in the driver's seat, though, for sure. I don't want to let him base for free. Do I flash for this? Is that worth it? It's not. Oh, he ulted. That's fine. He can't kill me. Oh. Oh. She can kill me, though. I'll tell you that much. She can kill me. Yeah, she can kill me. Oh, yeah. Okay, I got doinked on. I didn't even... I didn't realize that was happening. I got jabated. I got jabated. Good job from them. Really good job. High diamond from unranked? Are you talking to me? Bro, give me, like, a couple games. On hit's really good right now. Rage Blade got turbo buffed. I am finding like insane success with it. Um, so yes, I think on hit's really good. I'm the only team of main that thinks like that, unfortunately. But you know, that's kind of it is what it is being a trailblazer. Like when I hit challenger playing Teemo Jungle, nobody else was. It's just kind of I've always been like that. So if I just keep winning and I keep ranking up, the other team of mains will catch on. We'll have an on hit meta for sure. But um, if y'all want to play it and join me, you know, beat beat the uh, beat the Gen Pop to it, right? It's I'm telling you, it's the best build by a mile. Was that pink ward always there? Okay, I want to get one plate and then I'll go investigate that pink ward. But this is 175 gold on the board. I'm I'm really strong right now. My conditioning overgrowth also kicked in. So right now, this is the on-hit power spike. I have Blade of the Rune King, a really good item for 1v1s. Got 67 magic resist, 78 armor, because my conditioning overgrowth. Almost 2,000 health, we're looking good. I don't need help, buddy. You can just go down, go in bed, go down bot lane. I, I almost don't want him to come up here, because it's like, there's no point. I, I'm fine. Even if I die, it's fine. I'm playing top lane, who cares? <laughs> All right, if he ever gets comfortable, I, I poop on him. Come back here. 
That's a lot of damage right there. That's a lot of damage. I only attacked him like three times. Play the Rune King shreds tanks. Bork did like 400 damage there, I think. I just have to not Dynamis Evelyn. But that's okay, because like the more time Evelyn's looking up here, it's so good for us. He's actually playing really good. He's respecting my damage, which is which is pretty cool to see. That doesn't always happen. Most other top laners would have died so many times by now, but he's like playing super duper safe. I, I mean, it's fine because I'm two and two with a, with a 30 CS lead. And, you know, Evelyn might be up here. Annie came up here once. So, like, they're putting resources top. Evelyn's bottom, okay. But they're, they're putting some resources top, and I'm still, like, up a lot. I just got to be, okay, everybody's on the map. Evelyn's bottom, Annie's up here. So, we're chilling. We definitely get this turret. I like using my shrooms just to spam push. Spam pushing feels so good because then they're kind of helpless, right? I'd be careful. Orn can one-shot me if he hits a combo. He doesn't. He gives me tower. That's a success. Good lane. Good lane. I got ganked twice, and I'm still up 30 CS. It's looking real good. Okay, this is a little risky, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because Evelyn could come here, Annie could come here. Okay. Hey, hey Miss Annie, what are you doing there? Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, here. I'm dead. All right, I'm seeing a pattern, okay? I'm seeing a pattern. They're all toppling the entire game. I'm starting to see a pattern here. I think I'll go to the Merc Treads now because this Annie's on my ass. Evelyn has R, I think, right? Ooh, that was, I mean, Kane might be able to clean up. Oh. Okay, Kane can clean up. And be close. I'm watching. Kane's pretty fed. I think he's got this. That's not bad. Um, if you want to join my Discord, my coaching's a uh, my coaching's very expensive. But if you have extra income, by all means, I, I would love to coach you. It's it's pretty. A lot of people ask for coaching. I only like coaching once a week at the most. Um, but if you want to join di my Discord, all the info's there. I'll talk to you a link after the game. We're still... Um, my KDA is not that good. And I'm not going to lie. I could be playing better this game. But top lane isn't really about getting 40 kills. It's about pressure. And, like, the fact that I'm still up 30 CS. I'm up a level on Orin. I could 1v1 him while getting spam ganked. I I'm pretty cool at this game so far. And once I get wit's end, I'll be pretty invulnerable, I'm not gonna lie. Drake doesn't matter, unfortunately. We don't have the first one, so we can't start stacking him. Evelyn's bottom, that's good to know. I'll wait for Warren up here. I don't think any I don't think anybody besides Nice is Nice expensive. <laughs> He's one of a kind. I wonder if this guy wants to go for this wave. It doesn't look like he wants to. So I'll shove it out. I'm just going to chill up here for now. I don't really want to group till I get wit's end. Because grouping versus Annie, Evelyn, and I have no magic, is just kind of scary. Now, the beauty about this on hit setup is that when I do get wit's end, I am I can just crap on them, right? Which you can't do as 8B Teemo. That's pretty cool. I think Annie's coming top, to be honest. I'm not going to stay up here. Okay, Annie's mid. The map's pretty scary at the moment. I'm just gonna be chilling. Botlane's probably gonna die to Evelyn Annie, I would think. I'm gonna push mid. Our bot, our, there's no way our bot doesn't die to a Annie Evelyn right now. So I'm just gonna shove mid. Yeah, they're all dead. I get mid turret though. That's fine. Or even TP, they have five bottom. Oh yeah, I'm pushing, I'm pushing. They were gonna die regardless of the Orn TP, but I get mid lane from it, that's pretty cool. Good little macro there. Just keep pushing. I mean, we might even be able to get this turret, actually. We have the cannon minion? I'm kind of down. Oh! Well, we don't want inhib. We just want the turret, right? Inhib would be a little overkill. I'm not going to do the inhib. Because, like, the problem if we get inhib, then we have to get Baron. We have to get Baron at, like, 20 minutes ASAP, or else it's going to be free gold for them. We did get the inhib, so now we're kind of on a clock. So what that inhib does is they get extra golden XP because they have more minions coming through. 
So if we don't secure an advantage with that, we're going to be at a deficit for sure. If we get Baron from it, hell yeah. But if we don't, it's not looking that good. The Zorn's been playing really good. Um, like, I have a lead and I can 1v1 him, but he's had Annie and Evelyn come up here and he hasn't been dying. So he's been playing it as smart as he can. I don't think we should stay. I feel like their whole team's going to come up here. But I'm kind of down. I'm going to go mid. This looks like a pretty good time to affect the map. Okay, never mind. Orange is going to be coming from the top side. Kane's fed, though. He's chilling. I'll go back top. We can do Baron, honestly, whenever we want. Evelyn's bottom. Wait, we can actually do Baron. Like, legit. I got Bork. I got the Borky Dorky. I'm down for this. Unless this thing one-shots us, Melio can heal us, right? So, with me shredding with Bork, I think we actually can get it. Evelyn was bottom. It's going to be close, I'm not going to lie. It definitely will be close, but I think we can do this. Where do I put my ward? I'll put it here. Oh, we can definitely finish it up. Someone's gonna die, but it ain't gonna be me. It might be me. Baron first, and we'll corn. Okay, nice. Hey, good call. Huge. Little macro angle. Really good call. Now we're rich, too. That's good. This is, this is the top lane experience. You don't have, like, this is why I love top lane, okay? You don't have to have 40 kills to be carrying. Like, this is a pretty good game for me, you know? I'm not, again, right? I'm not 12 and zero, but I'm, I'm doing work, man. I'm up a level, I'm up CS, I'm useful. We got Baron there, I'm pressuring top lane. It's feeling pretty good. Their team's pretty hard to team for Teemo too. They have Annie Evelyn just on my ass. But I have the Merc Treads, and once I get Wit's End, I'm really not going to be killable. She's got two items. I'm kind of down. Okay, the pattern with the Evelyn Annie on my ass all game, I don't, I'm not liking it. Guys, this is my first game of the day, okay? We don't got to be doing all that to me. Like that magic resist? I have conditioning overgrowth. I'm not even close to dying. The on hit special, baby. I got a. I have 123 MR. You're not gonna kill me with that. Oh, you can kill me with that though. Okay, he can kill me with that. He definitely can kill me with that. <laughs> it's fine. Worth it. Would I build on hit Teemo if you're versing Teemo in a mirror matchup? You know, I've never been asked that question before. I don't know, honestly. Uh-oh. Hey, Warren got the shutdown. That's not bad. Warren gets a bunch of gold. That's fine. I'm surprised we didn't get top in him, to be honest. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to stay top the rest of the game, right? Like, Drake spawning, this Drake doesn't mean anything for us. Like... If they get Drake, it's only their third, not even fourth. So what I want to do here is I want to push top lane. Because I could 1v1 Orn. I might be able to ignore him and get the turret. Or he might not even come over here. I don't want to fight this without Kane. So I'm just going to go top. I'm hoping they come and try and kill me. Because then they don't kill my team. And if they don't, I can get something going. Because this Drake doesn't matter at all. You have Annie up here. That's cool. Not that cool, though. Ooh, Evelyn's coming over here. We do not have the numbers. I think I can catch Evelyn, though. I'm looking for Evelyn here. There it is. Nice. That's good macro. Ow. Don't oh, ow, 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 ow. Okay. I didn't have to die there, to be honest. That's a warm-up game angle. This isn't really good for us 
But I mean that that fight started like that fight started bad because Twitch got caught and uh, it still ended with us being down one. But it's fine. Ooh, that's that's pretty good from Kane. Uh, ooh, uh oh. Okay, clutch. Ooh, not that clutch. We have a ball game on our hands, don't we? I feel like the entire game. I'm not. This game feels like I've just been getting hate crimed by Annie and Evelyn. I think Annie has only ulted me the entire game. It's not really fair. I want a refund. Oh, we can definitely go over here. Pike's top lane, right? I think Annie has only been solo ulting me the entire game. Dude, kill them. They got nothing up. We're here. Even if they get Drake, that's fine. We can get turn a good fight here. Come back, Warren. Come back. Okay. I'm gonna go this way. I don't think you can have run in a collie, to be honest. Pike's pushing. Pike split pushing as a support. <laughs> Why are you picking me? What do you want me to do? I only have two legs, bro. Oh. Okay, Annie. Okay, come on, Annie. I get the picture. Stop ulting me, dude. Annie's just been ulting me all game. I don't like her. What is up with her? The team of global taunt is real, isn't it? This is the kind of game I'm going to go wits end third, but then I'm also going to go like force of nature for it. I think if I get all the way to force of nature, I think I just want to be nine it. I wonder if he has teammates here. Got a slash, nice. We'll take it. Of course, Annie's on her way. Evelyn's probably right behind her. There's nothing new this game. 1650 is how much gold I'm looking for. All right, there's Evelyn coming bottom. Annie's probably not that far from her. We gotta be a little careful. Baron's up in 16 seconds. I highly doubt I'm going to make something happen bottom, so let's go mid with Kane. Good vision from them. We don't have to start Baron, but I want to be just in the area. Because they've been picking on me all game. It's not going to stop. Kane's chilling. I, kinda, I can get down with that. I'm just trying to find Evelyn. We're just looking for Evelyn. This is actually really good from our team. I like our positioning. Them pushing mid is also good from them. I'm just gonna chill here. They don't see me. Oh, okay, Twitch is dead again. That's not good. Okay, that's fine. We got a lot of his, got a lot of his health. Akali got a kill. Mm, okay, this is fine. Cool. Annie still has ult, and she's probably gonna headshot me with it. I'm down to just do Baron. Yeah, I'm, I'm down. We don't have an ADC, but I'm the ADC, right? I'm just gonna get this shove first. The problem here is that I have to do damage to the Baron. I'm the only one that can damage the Baron, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick on that. Hey, that was really good. Milio broke up that Annie combo enough to be useful. That was actually kind of fine. We can do this. Twitch is here. Twitch is here. We can do this. I can tank. Twitch does a lot. I have a lot of damage. Twitch does a lot of damage. We got double Borks. Okay. Well, that's not ideal. All right. Okay. Okay. That's cool. All right. Abort mission. I think they're gonna they're gonna do Baron. That's not gonna be ideal for us. Okay, well they're definitely gonna do Baron now. Oh, hey, chill. What was that Dave Mon? What's happening here? How how are we losing so hard? That's my question. Hmm. What's happening? 
I'm gonna go, ooh, maybe I go Abyssal Mass this game. That would probably be best. I don't need any armor. Jin's not killing me. The only people killing me are Evelyn and Annie. How are we losing? Question mark, hmm. Drake, their fourth Drake's also up in 40, which kind of stinks. I have Lily Kane's doing Kane things. Maybe, okay, well, I spoke too soon. I feel like maybe Twitch hasn't done anything all game. That's probably why. I would think that's why we're losing. I feel like he's just always dead, right? We somehow have to make a pick, although it's, it's 3v5, we have to try and look for a pick. I mean, Pike's pushing top lane, so that's actually fine. Akali, you should come over here. Okay, well, that's not ideal, but it's all good. Oh, okay, nice orb. Okay, I catch with our Annie ult. What's new? Twitch is dead again. <laughs> okay, we lose that Drake. All right, well, this kind of went downhill, didn't it? Dude, they always know where we are. Are they hacking? Hmm. Interesting game we got here on our hands. I will go bottom. I'm going to try and kill Orn. Because the grouping has not been working. But also, I can't split this game because Evelyn Annie's been on my ass. So we kind of have to group and just try our best. I should be able to kill this guy, although it's like, I mean, he's a level 16 full tank Orn, so you never know what's going to happen. Milio's coming, that's cool. Damn, he, he does a little bit of damage, doesn't he? Okay, we got it done. Thank you, Milio. I was taking a lot of damage, too, from the minions. Um, okay, they're right behind us. I mean, we're alive, aren't we? We'll take it. Okay, Twitch gets a kill? Twitch gets a kill? I get a kill, we'll take it. Winnable question mark? The problem is, is that Jin, Jin and Pike are playing well now. <laughs> um, Jin's still here. Yeah, we're, pre we're pretty dead, aren't we? Twitch is there, though. That works. That definitely works. Kane lives. Annie's by herself. Dude, Annie's one versus five. There's no way she kills everybody. She has no ult. Last item stone plate, I think, is the play. There we go. Good job, Akali. All right, super winnable. Like, soul actually isn't that big of a deal. This doesn't really look that cool. The way everybody's dying, everybody's getting one shot, right? How do we win this one is the question. I get stone plate last item for sure. This is pretty much the setup I'm rocking with. I feel like we're not winning team fights. How do we win the team fights? Okay, well, that's not good. Melio, what you doing? You got a 50 second respawn. It's a long ass time, pal. Where do I go? Guess I'm just gonna try and protect the team. Evelyn's definitely gonna be up here. I don't think this is a good idea whatsoever. Cause there's no, there's no, dude, Evelyn's right around the corner, guys. Hello? All right, let's see if we can sniff her out. I can face tank her because I have all the MR in the world. Okay, I mean, hey, that worked out for us. We'll take it. We got Orn Flash and we got Evelyn R. It's actually, I'm surprised it worked out so well. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take the kill. Um, Orin's looking at me, so I'm probably just going to go this way then. Orin's bottom. I can 1v1 everybody, including Annie, but I can't 2v1. Can't 2v1 like Pike and Jin or anything like that. I want to get some pressure down, but it feels so incredibly risky. 
I'm down to go for it though. I'm gonna trust my team to hold it by themselves. That didn't go that well. Dude, imagine if I had a little time to work with on the Orn here, I'd pop off so hard. But I don't. I don't have any time to work with. Our team got blasted. I'm on my way back to base, y'all. I'm cooming, I'm cooming. Akali's up in four. I could flash for Annie and kill her. Orange she ping. They can't end, so I'm just gonna wait here patiently. Oh. This doesn't feel like a good idea. Yeah, okay. Who's in charge of that one? I'm gonna vote no, I think it's still winnable. Maybe I was lied to. Alright, a little bit of an unfortunate game, but I could have played better early, I think. I, I think Akali's right. Like, we're gonna. S My gut feeling says Twitch did very little damage and just died 11 times. I think Akali's onto something, but we'll see. Either way, it's no, not a big deal. The, that game was pretty lopsided. I feel like. I feel like I took a lot of pressure in lane, and like I said, Annie kind of only ulted me all game. But Annie did ult me all game, so kudos to her. She kind of shut me down, which is in her right. I feel like Twitch probably did a little damage, though. Twitch did 21k. That's honestly more than I expected, but the 11 deaths kind of stinky. I did most damage in the game. I probably also took most damage. I'm right up there with Kane, and what about the mitigate? Kane did, me and Kane did most damage and took most damage. I don't think we could. GG either way. That's a game too. I didn't play. Okay, are we back? Okay, little hiccup, little hiccup there. Little hiccup in the net. I hope it didn't completely DC us. All right. A little hiccup, little, little spectrum angle. But the good thing about that, it didn't end the stream. It didn't end the stream and create a new VOD, so we're okay. Yeah, between games, let's say, we'll take that. Man, that last game was tough. I don't think I could have done much more, though. I think I, I did all that I could. Like I said, for how much Annie was just solo ulting me... Hey, Jason. Take it easy, pal. Let's run it back. We're gaming. It's a gamer angle. You don't listen. The number one thing about League, stop coping. You don't get games like that every game, you noob. That kind of game, if you play well and you lose, that happens one out of every six games, maybe. Whenever, okay, whenever, if, if you ever want to complain about your team, just give me your OPGG link first. That's my deal. If you give me your OPGG, right, and I can look it over, and then you get, like, the pass to complain. You have to, it's like an app, you have to submit the application. Because when I, whenever somebody says, my game's always like that, I go to their OPGG, they're 0 and 5. And they're like, my jungle didn't gank. Their jungle's 20 and 0 trying their best. They're 1 in 10 playing Teemo support. So if you want to complain about your team, just, just submit the OPGG. Toss it in the, in the chat. Links, you know, you can link anything you want. Go for it. I'll, I'll take a peek and we'll give you the pass. That's a pretty fair deal, right?
Con conquests, I respect that. Mmm. Vervin top lane, how nice. Oh! Stark just had a little booger. I right, Riven top lane, I alter my runes a little bit because I want to slam her in lane. So the best shitting on Riven runes are this right here. Bone plating and flinching. Same for Jax. Dude, Daybond's a beast. Yeah, that game, I played that game last night. I was versus TF Blade. I soul killed him level 6. I 2v1 the tower dive level 8. Davemon got the pentakill to finish it. That game had everything. I'd be surprised if both me and Dave Mon like don't upload that to YouTube. That's a that's a YouTube video for both of us. Insane game. <laughs> he's so sweet too. He's he's such a he's such a sweetheart, man. He always hypes me up, bro. Like, as a streamer, you don't have a lot of people that just like want the best for you out of the kindness of their heart. But me and Dave Mon, we go way back, and I swear, like every time he talks about me, he's just like I'm fucking excited. He he gets so excited, it gets me excited. Like, that dude's a goat. Well, no, don't get it twisted. I carried the early game. Okay, Papa Manko held it down in the early game. I carried early. We had a handshake. He carried late. We both carried. Ooh, we're playing in Platinum. Platinum. Now, Anathemas is really, really risky. I would not recommend buying Anathemas any, like at any time because first off, having health isn't that good. Like if you look at every single game, how many people have percentage health damage, it's insane. Or like executes, right? Like Ribbon, I, I'm pretty sure Ribbon does more damage based on your healths. Um, any champion that builds Leandres, like, Health is not a good stat. Anathema is it gives all health and it gives no resistances. So health is kind of like a bait. There's so much max HP. There's so much uh, HP damage in the game. And Anathema is only works for one target. So like if you're playing in Challenger ELO and the enemy ADC is 20 and 0 just straight carrying, then Anathemas might be good. But it's very rare that like you need to nullify one target, one target only. So it, it's not really that good. I could go over here. This is probably going to go along for a while. I'm going to start spamming spam pinging Velkaz to wake him up. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty... Yeah, that's pretty... This is pretty accurate. This happens in high elo too. People love AFK level 1. It's like a part-time gig. Wow, they got Mar Bali got first blood. Ruben no flash, that helps me out. <laughs> People love AFKing as I'm just watching the fight from top lane drinking green tea. <laughs> People love AFKing, but not me. Not me. I'm look, I'm paying attention, see? <laughs> okay, seriously. It's it's okay for me to be pop top lane here. That was on purpose. Top lane, as Teemo, you should always stay. You really don't want to leash anywhere. You, you want to stay top and shove the wave or get wave prio. Because a lot of champions kill you level one if you're slacking. I want to get my overshell cooking as well. My overheal, rather. What's the shield level one? Little 20 held shield? Don't mind if I do. I was in a hard push because... Ribbon already has no flash and graves doesn't really have the hardest ganks. So I think um like if I just shove this and put her on her tower, she's gonna miss CS. I don't think I'll die to a gank. Because Ribbon no flash. Graves doesn't have any CC. I'm not even gonna worry. I'm gonna welcome the 2v1. Even if I die, I think it would be a good limit test. But I don't think I will die. Okay, so we're just gonna keep her on tower and show her who's the boss. Gonna poke her as much as I can. Try and get Graves up here, try to 2v1 them. That's the angle of this game. Did it keep her on the turret? This is a very high risk, high reward play style, right? Cause she's gonna miss CS, trying to CS under tower. I'm vulnerable to ganks, but if I play well, we're okay. I'm gonna miss CS for fun, cause her name's Manko, not Ipav. 
I want another point in E because, like, regardless, I already made up my mind. I'm going to fight this game out. I'm looking for the 2v1. So there's no point going W because I'm going to fight. I want more damage. Again, even if I die, that's fine. Oh, that's a good smoke screen. Dude, I'm taking a bath in this smoke screen. Oh my god! The smoke screen hit me right in the forehead two times over. All right. Obviously not worth it. Good job from Graves. That smoke screen felt like a damn Malphite ult. Ooh, got her flat. Got a slash. Nice. If I played that better, it could have been good. I messed up. I'm pretty sure if I don't take a bath in this, that smoke screen just messed me up so hard. Because, like, I can't even blind properly. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, man. Oh, well. We'll be okay. I'm going to stick to my strategy. This has been working out for me pretty hardcore. Just pushing. Relentless pressure. Now I'll ward. Now I'm going to respect the gank. I don't want a 2v1 again. I used up all my resources. So now we're just going to be chilling. It's also, it's really okay to be behind. Like, dying to a gank doesn't mean you're out of the game. It's really like, like I said, I've been playing like a maniac recently, testing this build. It's like pushing, spam pushing, going for 1v1s. And like, you can still win if you die to a gank like that. It's totally, it all, it all depends on items and like champions. She has a pickaxe, but if I don't get hit by her 15 Qs, we're going to be A-OK. -okay. And again, Gray still isn't that strong early. So it's not like... Graze is gonna like come top and poop on me. I actually don't want Italy over here. It's it's never gonna work. Nice, look half half HP, very nice. Now I have my ward. If she wants to do that, that's fine. Get a harvest proc. I'm down with that. Donate a harvest proc to the needy. Respect. Just keeping the pressure up on Ribbon. I could be CSing a little bit better, I will admit. If she hits level 6, she actually crushes me with that HP. But, um, that's fine. I'm trying to get Graves back up here. Graves is bottom, okay. So now we just do whatever we want, right? Graves is bottom. She does not have teleport, I don't think, for a little bit. We're chilling. I want to stop her base there. Beautiful. Maybe I can land a shroom on her here. This is fine. I don't think she has a damage to kill me. Nice. The endless pressure, right? Me just putting on turret, autoing, autoing, autoing. She feels pressured. She feels rattled. She forces that bad play. I had a lot of poke on her already. That's good. Doesn't matter if I died early. She probably does have TP back up. Okay, that's fine. We get her TP. I take my base. Now that sets me up to kill her again, right? Now we're looking real good. I'm going to get Steel Caps. I think that's going to make me be able to 1v2. We'll get that, and we'll get the... We'll get that. Now we can potentially 1v2, because I have Steel Caps or Graves Ribbon. That's a really good item for both of them. Versus both of them. As long as she doesn't get the cannon, we're fine. Oh, she's panicking, isn't she? Wow, look at the panic. Okay, she's playing Ribbon. That's not fair, bro. She literally just left. Please just die, man. Belkaz, get over here! Dude, I'm chasing... Oh, come on! Just let me kill you, mate. All right, this is not worth it. That was not worth it. I'm tilted. Goddamn, I have tier two boots! That's not worth it. She has the boss to me. The bouse. Bro, I've got tier two boots. She's just pressing Q. 
Not worth. I got ribboned. And I used my ignite, so now if she lines up a perfect ult, she definitely can kill me. Well played from her. Although I don't think she had a game plan. Like I highly doubt she was like, dude, I'm gonna make Timo chase me, right? I'm not gonna die, live one HP. I highly doubt she thought of all that. I think she just is playing ribbon and got lucky. Oh, Nidalee's definitely gonna die. That Jin's 401, brother. Even if she gets a kill, she dies, but I'm down for it. She did not get a kill and she died. I would think Graze is up here. Because if Graze isn't bottom, right? He's probably doing Herald. I don't think it's like rocket science. Or taking our jungle camps. Graze is mid, cool. So he was top side, but then he went mid. Our team is getting pooped on, but really all that matters is top. When you're playing top lane, you're on an island. Nothing else matters. So who cares what's happening down there? Doesn't affect my gameplay. Uh, this is fine. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's totally fine. Come on, go for it, punk. You gotta bring Katarina too if you want. If you want this. Listen, I know Graze is there. I'm fine with the dude. It's eight to three. I've got to make some plays, guys. If Cat comes, sure, I'm dead, but it's worth the risk all day. I've got to risk being able to two v one Graze and Ribbon, right? Got to do something here. Got to shut down. That's cool. I don't think I can scare Graze off Harold. Maybe I'll try. I don't think it's gonna work out for me, but I'm, I'll, I'll take a peek. Problem is that, that cat's gonna come as well, right? All right, screw it. Okay, I'm a gamer. Huge. That guy, score one for Manko. I don't think I missed my cannon either, that's good. Okay, I do miss the cannon, but it's fine. Hey, winnable. Hey, super winnable. I'm going on hit pretty much every game in all my accounts. I think on hit is uh, on hit's a pretty good build right now. It definitely has the most carry potential because you you can take a beating and still live. What a ball is hell, man. What a ball is heck, rather. Okay, so they have. A 5, 1, and 2 Jin with a damn item already. So pretty much how, how Teemo works in the current meta. Like, if their ADC is fed and their ADC, like, is playing well, you're never going to win a game, right? Because ADC is arguably the best role in the game. But you never know. It's always worth playing out at least, right? So, like, this game we're probably going to lose. Their Jin's a beast, but you never know. Why not? Why not try? Why not go for it? This is fine, this is just a bait. Come back, I just want to chat. Damn, nice flash. Hey, we killed Graze, that's huge. Need to kill Graze, very well done. Maybe she gets Herald, that'd be cool. Give it a couple pings. Okay, winnable. I'm gonna still get a couple pings. Damn, Nidalee had a bad early game, but she just came alive now. That's huge. All right, Cat, please don't kill us, ma'am. Maybe we don't do Herald. Yeah. I mean, she can't kill me. She's Owen, too. I can eat her ult if I want to. Oh, hey, Twitch. What are you doing up here? That's not cool, man. And he gets the reset on his stealth. I got one kill somehow. Yeah, they're freaking five and three Twitch game top. That's a stink bug for us, isn't it? That's a major stink bug. But that gives bot lane some breathing room. She got a plate bottom. This could be worse. Cat got my shutdown, but she was already 0 3, so that's kind of fine. Oh, if she gets two plates, that's huge. 
That's actually really good. She got 350 gold bottom. That's better than a kill. The strat of for our TMO games, uh, winning. The strat is to win. I would like to win League of Legends games. Uh, there's a world I come down for Drake. Because if we get second Drake, that sets up for four Drakes, let's do it. Like, Ribbon is going to get one plate Totem if she... One plate top if she's quick with it. Totem? What? Hello? That's fine. Dude, I think we go Drake. I don't want to go bottom. I want to get Drake. Two out of four is really cool. Like, bottom just sets it up. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm just... Okay. All right. Okay, guys. All right. Why am I here? Okay, everybody. That didn't seem like a good idea. What is that about? Now I just have to try and make a miracle happen. I got my Bork, I'm just saying. I got Bork, that's pretty cool. All right, it's looking pretty doomed. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, but <laughs> we're screwed. But I'm gonna auto attack. Whatever. Hey, Joshua. Thanks for the five bucks, better buddy. Thanks for the five bucks, Josh, buddy old boy. I actually have to order a shit ton of animal food today, so that's gonna go to the animal fund. Riven got the whole turret top lane. Thankfully, she only got like two plates, so it's not the end of the world, but it's not good. Hey, we got Drake. That's all I wanted at the end of the day. Four Drake win con, we win. I get some armor and I'm unkillable. All right, if we can somehow get four Drakes, it's winnable. We're holding out for that. They have a fed gin. They have a Twitch that's playing well as well. We're probably going to lose, right? They have the better bot lane. They have the better jungler. Obviously, they don't have the better top because I'm a beast. So we're probably going to lose, but I'm still down to game. Four Drakes. That's our chance. Did she ult? I took a tower shot. That's not ideal. Is it me or is she like healing me? She did no damage there. Can you just come back? There's three bottom, one mid, so I can do whatever I want up here. We want the turret. There's no way she can kill me. I don't know what she's what she's trying here. I can definitely kill the turret, then kill her, as long as Cat doesn't come up here. Oh, she's healing a lot. Good job. This is fine, right? Oh, this doesn't seem that fine. Was it all just a bait? It's fine again. I'm gonna die. What am I doing, guys? I'm, I may as well stick. Like, why would I leave now? Honestly, that's not even close. I was I was never going to die there. You think I was worried? I was not. I had that all in the plan. All in the bag. We killed... Oh, they're all mid. Cool, I can push. Three mid. Nice. I was never worried about that. Played it perfectly from start to finish. Our Caitlyn's really obsessed with her with her support. I don't know why. What do I do here? Do I go bottom? Like team fighting, we don't have a damn chance. Hmm. You look at your main map like all the time. Sis, you're four and eight. Yes, We're gonna try not to team fight. We're gonna do everything but team fight. We're gonna team fight very, very, very selectively this game. I mean, honestly, this one's pretty winnable. We're not getting stomped. Like, our team is holding it down moderately well. Shut down. 
Okay, double kill. This is fine. I'm down for this. What if I just flash? Oh my god. Is that spear hit? We can hit. We can kill this. It's fine. They killed Twitch. It's really fine that she dies there. Kate's mental booming, but it's it's really unwarranted since this game's super winnable. I can't control it though, so I'll just game. I have blind, I have blind. Nick, get your ass back here! I'm gaming! Press Q! Anything! I killed Jin, huge. Let me know, the turret! Yes, I'm alive! Winnable, let's do Baron, frick it! Dude, I'm salivating from the guilt right now, it's winnable. Dude, Jin was playing Rumor on the Rose with me, but I'm a I'm a freaking expert in kids' games, bro. If Caitlyn would just if Caitlyn didn't type a single word this game, I would think we already won. With her, she might sabotage our chance of winning, but I'm still down. Okay, I need to go an armor item third because they have so much bullshit. I'm going Randuins. This is gonna be the like my favorite part of on hit Teemo. You can get so absurdly tanky. Like, if you look at your team, they do no magic damage. Twitch does magic damage and can one-shot me. I'm just hoping that he doesn't, honestly. That's my strat. If Twitch doesn't one-shot me, I'm looking good. Come, no, come over here. You're going the wrong way, Twitch. We just missed everything. Caitlyn's dead. Twitch is going to try to go this way. I'm, I'm going to see if I can find him. Okay, Twitch is... Oh, we, we got him. The way he lives that. Oh, we can get this. That'd be excellent. I'll start by pressuring Ruben. Drake, 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 Drake is so big here. And we we can win this fight, dude. Caitlyn died. Who cares? Caitlyn's useless. This is fine. Graves is one shot too. I can eat this, right? Yeah. Dude, let's just do Drake. Twitch is dead. Let's just hit this. We, we should pull it out a little bit. Pull it out! Pull it out! Guys, come on! Twitch is spawning! There you go. Now we can't steal it. Oh, look at that. We're out of here. Twitch is going to be hauling ass. So we got to roll. Oh, sweet Lord. Have mercy on my soul. Nice. I'm pretty sure Nidalee smited the graves. She had smite before starting that. I looked. I used it on him. Oh, really? Did you really? I didn't notice. Thanks for letting me know. I didn't see, I didn't notice you used it on him. I thought I used it on the Drake. I don't think I'm going to chase him. I'm going to stay. Oh, I think I'm going to run. Uh, he's going to come from the top side. So I got to get in this bush here. So pretty much if I go armor, as long as I don't die to Twitch, we win. Twitch is mid, I'm gonna shove. I'm not gonna team fight to my next item. I'm gonna use Herald down here, I'm sending it. I might die. I might die. Jin's top. Hmm, it seems a little risky. Maybe I don't, maybe I'm out. Jin's top, Twitch is mid, okay. I could have one Graves and, and Ribbon, if that's the case. Jin and Twitch are mid, that's fine. I'll stay, I'll stick around. Uses three Qs I can open, she can't go over the wall. Huge, now I can Herald, now I can pressure. Really, I pressure really hard here. They, they probably wanna do Baron, so if they do Baron, I can get Inhib. Our team doesn't care if they want to do Baron, that's fine. Okay, they're not doing Baron. They're coming bottom instead. That's huge. I'll leave then. Just denied Baron. And we got 600 gold. Oh, it's, it's so winnable. It's so winnable. It's super winnable. All right, so my build here is Randuin's, and I go Wit's End. Because I want that MR for Twitch. 
Randuin's for Jin, Wits End for Twitch, and I'm super tanky. And then we go Stone Plate last item, most likely. I could go Stone Plate now, but I think I might need the damage. I like that we're I like we're sitting here. I'm down for this. Better us than them, right? Damn, they walked in a straight ass line. We'll take it. Huge. What if we just do Baron? How does that sound? And what if I just wait for Twitch? What if we do Baron? I can wait for Twitch. Twitch is gonna come over here. I know that. Get over here, baby! Now we do Baron. They can't. What's she gonna do? Walk up and kill us? Oh, Riven will not. Okay, let's do. I shouldn't be running at him. Let's go do Baron. Let's no, seriously. Let's do Baron now. Seriously, we can do Baron. We got the pick on Twitch, baby. Winnable. I feel like this. My team's not only on my back. My team's on my back. They're on my shoulders. They're taking a ride on my freaking great cheeks of Jesus on my ass. But it's winnable. Sometimes you gotta carry, sometimes you don't have to do anything. That's League of Legends. That ran doing slow, baby. You love to see that. Yes, Alright, I have to not die here. Dying would not be optimal. I don't have any gold. I can't buy anything. I don't want to sell my Doran, so we're gonna chill. I don't want to split here. I think these team fights have been going really well, so maybe I just keep gaming the team fights. Like I, I could split, but it just feels I feel like when the team fights are well. Why not team fight? I'll push bottom. We'll go from there. We'll see how the map looks. It's always situational, right? Okay, now we're definitely not team fighting because our team's probably dead. So I'm just gonna shove. Okay, now see now we're probably not gonna fight. Riven's TPing. I'm just gonna shove this with Fury. Drake doesn't matter since we didn't get the third one. I mean honestly it's not bad one for one or one for two. Oh my god! Oh my god! I killed Twitch! That went amazing! Karma's, yeah, Karma's farming wolves. <laughs> Karma's Karma's in a 1v1 with the wolves. <laughs> She's farming. Dude, if I get inhib, Kate, Kat and Jin. If I play this well, I could flash on Jin. Um, okay, well, that's not playing it that well. That's not playing it well. That's not playing it well at all. I ate 15 autos before doing anything. I didn't think they were going to be there that close. My, my bad. My, my fault. That is not playing it well. That's the opposite of playing it well. My bad. My fault. My fault. I got the turret, so I'm gonna have to give that a worth, but it's not really. Hey, my team played that really well. I blundered. Hey, Joshua. All my guides are on YouTube, so I do have a, a, a in-depth on-hit guide that I, I published recently. But the thing with Mobifier is that there's no monetization of Mobifier. With me doing YouTube and streaming as a job, I have to make sure I monetize. So that's where uh, where I like doing the YouTube guides. Hey, Spoonami Poopani, how you doing, Poppy? What's up, Spoonam? Grab some challenger, pal. Poppy Spoonami. All right, my team just lives for like forty seconds. I'm hauling ass. Whenever you say don't fight, your team always fights. Oh, whoa, whoa! Twitch gave Velkaz a kiss. <laughs> Yo, our team's insane! They don't even need me. Okay, that's not how you play Twitch, but I'm down. I didn't want to help anyway. Damn. See, this is why you don't tilt. We were down like five kills to 40, and my team was sucking, but now all of a sudden, fast forward 20 minutes, and they're freaking. They don't even need me. That's kind of how it goes in League of Legends. That's why you always just game. Just always game it out. Oh, we're going for Jen. I can fla I'm gonna flash Randuins. Watch this combo. Ready? <laughs> flash Randuins, where are you going, punk? <laughs> oh, come on, Nidalee, really? That's that's obviously worth it, right? If I didn't flash, he would have I would have not killed him, obviously. I didn't waste my flash or anything. Man, I wish I had flash. I wish I had flash right now. 
Damn it. Worth. Just get comfortable. Come on, use your stealth. No, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. Nah, I'm dead. He has ult still. Okay, I'm just gonna go this way now. Uh, yeah, I'm dead. Hey! He's not supposed to be able to ult. I thought he used that already. That doesn't count. I gave my shutdown to Katarina because she's useless. She's 2 and 6, so I did that on purpose, obviously. What is that damage? Is that FSM Saber on the Caitlyn? Alright, answers that the answer is no, by the way. The answer is no. Yeah, I do um every Saturday I do an informational slash educational YouTube stream on this account for YouTube only. Unranked a challenger, team of top lane. Not too shabby. It's going well. I think I'm gonna sneak in an AP game today. I don't know when, but maybe, maybe sometime. Okay, I gotta stop. I gotta stop farting around. My last couple of deaths have been really bad, right? I've I've just been kind of, I've just been pussyfooting around, is what you like to say. So we gotta we gotta end here. We gotta nut up and get barren. Karma, get your stinking paws paws away from that red buff. L listen, Caitlyn. With all due respect, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. At this point, I'm okay taking that because if Caitlyn AFK'd, I think we would still win. So, if we needed Caitlyn, I wouldn't grab that. If she AFK's, that's fine, right? That's totally okay. Twitch had no ult. Oh, now he does. Yo, chill. Okay. I was auto engraved from outside of the ult range. That was good. They're doing a little bit of damage, aren't they? Oh. Okay, I'm helping. I have one HP in a dream. I mean, let's just do Baron. We have Karma. Ooh, that Velkaz domed her. Let's do Baron. We can do Baron, us four. Three. I'm pretty tanky. I have 209 armor. Get my attack speed. All right, if Cat comes over here, we're so dead. I'm hoping Cat goes bottom to kill ADC. Which is perfectly. That's perfect. It's a we see Jin. That's fine. What's he gonna seal with a W? Yeah, right. If he seals with a W, I'll eat my underwear. Kalen got a turret. That's honestly better than expected. Oh. Oh. Um, guys, can we chill? I don't want to die. Come on. I'm gone. Later, nerd. Gotta roll. Where Where do they keep coming from? Wait, Caitlyn kind of put in work. She ended the game. Wait, how'd she do all that? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm proud of her. Kate's been throwing a fit since level three. But we're just gaming. All right, Katarina, you can't blame your team when you're playing equally as bad. She's four, eight, and four. <laughs> it's not like she's playing well. <laughs> if I was Jin or Twitch, I'd be pissed. Jin or Twitch can complain. But you're four, eight, and four, girl. You're barely doing anything. Oh, the copium. That's what we call a fresh dose of copium right there. The copium addiction is taking over League of Legends. I think we just wait for Kate and we just run down the mid lane and auto the Nexus. That's the course of action. No, we're going for our blue buff. That's fine too, I guess. Twitch is here, right? Oh, um... I got a blind off. That might be okay. Nice. We'll take that. I want to end the game. I don't want to play this one anymore. We're farming our jungle camps. Our nexus is one eight freaking P. Oh, come on! Come on! <laughs>
the game by myself. How do I get in there? Titan and Hydra kind of stinks. The item makes sense in theory, but I, f I feel like it does no damage and the health. So whenever the item gives only health, it's not actually giving tankiness. Because health's kind of like a fake stat for tankiness. So Titanic Hydra, in my opinion, it does no damage and it only gives health, which isn't that good. I prefer stuff like Randuins or Thornmail. Come on, just let me hit the Nexus, guys. Enemy team, can we chill? Nice. Okay, I'm actually hitting the Nexus. I don't want to lose. On hit does work for jungle. Yeah, it does. Yes. For jungle, you go Rage Blade first item, and then you go Wits End or Blade of the Rune King second, depending on their team. All right, GG. Who do we honor? I think Nidalee played fine. All right. That wasn't... That wasn't terrible. Let's run it back. I want to look for an AP game when I can. That game was um was something else. But honestly, again, when you look at the early game, like we were down a lot. The fact that we won that game is a blessing. Because we were down a lot, right? We were down... 6,000 gold at 16 minutes, right when we were ready to forfeit. And we spammed winnable, we played well, we pooped on a ribbon, and we won the game. I mean, that's... You can't ask for much more than that, honestly. The ending kind of got drawn out a little bit, but we'll take it still. A win's a win. A win is a win is a win is a win, right? I did most damage by a mile, although I feel like I didn't fight for 20 years. Riven did nothing. Riven did 7k damage, shut her down. I took the second most damage on the team, and I mitigated the most damage. So... Mitigated damage means how much damage you reduce from your items, right? So my randoms, armor, and health, my runes, my steel caps. So I did most damage, I took most damage, right? Because if you add up the taken damage and the mitigated, I have more than Nidalee. So that's a pretty much a hardcore carry. I'll be right back, I gotta pee. Okay, that last game was insane. I was just thinking about it when I was peeing, like we hard carried. What's up, Aragon, how you doing? Oh, Aoki's been my friend for a while, so I appreciate that, pal. Chevy doesn't wake up till like one. He's got a couple hours left of sleeping, probably. Look how tired he is. When he face plants, that's how you know he's tired. Um, I mean, you should always be trying to hit minions. I probably, out of all the Hylo 2 mains, I probably have the worst CSing by a mile. It's not even close. Partially because, like, I'm always trying to, to game, but also partially because I played jungle for 10 years. But, um, like, ideally you do both, right? But sometimes you just have to ask yourself, like, am I actually going to be able to kill the enemy? Like, when you're versus an Orn top lane, can you actually kill him? You have to decide that. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't.
you kind of have to make that decision yourself. That it, with League of Legends, the answer should never be like yes or no. It should always you should always think about it. Situational, everything. I have six animals. I had seven, but one passed away recently. Um, miss her to death, right? It was like uh, two weeks ago. Pringle, our little senior boxer. So we had seven, but now we have six. We still have Chevy, the French Bulldog. We have a pit mix and we have four cats. What do I play second? Well, I'm glad you asked. Wow. If Timo gets banned, what do I play second? I'll show you what I play second. How about this? This is my other account. I've been ranking up an account not playing Timo, and we just hit freaking masters on it. So if I'm playing top lane, I dodge. I don't like playing anything other than Timo top, but if I'm playing jungle, yeah, buddy. I play a little Gragas, Vi, Graves, Kindred, Timo, Jarvan, and Mumu. Hit masters on it recently. I'm so proud of this account, it's unreal. So thanks for asking. Don't mind if I uh, flex a little bit. <laughs> All right, anyway, we might have to dodge this one. Yeah, we've been gaming. We've been hardcore gaming. Oh, God. Hey, can you play an engage support like Nauta or Blitz, Nauta or Leona? I'm hovering Teemo. <laughs> My team hates me already. We'll probably have to dodge. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to just play every game. I want to win every game. So, I haven't dodged yet today. And I don't think I'm going to be dodging a lot today, so... Dodging is really OP if you didn't know. Okay, I'm not going to wait till the last second to dodge or anything. We'll just get it out of the way now. Teemo support is actually not bad, believe it or not. Like, you're not going to be playing Teemo support in pro play or the highest rank of league of legends but honestly like if someone were to play team of support and get really good at it and hit like masters on it i would not be surprised like team of supports actually really good um i just suck at team of support but pretty much how you do team of support the thing that team of support's good at is that in laning phase he's not bad he's not like you know gonna 1v9 but he's not bad in laning phase and he always does damage, right? Teemo is always going to do damage. So what you do, you just rush Leandre's and you have damage from then to, for the rest of the game. You, you get one item, Leandre's, you get Leandre's and CDR boots, you're good to go. So I think Teemo support's pretty okay. I just, I just suck at Teemo support, that's why I don't play him. But I wish somebody would play Teemo support to Challenger. I think they could actually do it. I just am bad at bot lane. No, yeah, Teemo definitely could be, like, Teemo could be a mid laner and a jungler. It just, he's kind of gatekept by the social politics of League. The problem with Teemo is that he's pretty accepted top lane, but if you take Teemo else anywhere, you're going to lose just because your teammates hate you. Like, if you go Teemo support, you have, like, an 80% chance of your ADC hating you and throwing a fit. And guess what? ADC is one of the best roles in the game right now. If you go Teemo mid and you don't roam, your jungle hates you. Guess what? Jungle is probably the best role in the game right now. So the problem with Teemo is that you can be playing perfect and you're still going to lose games just because you play Teemo not top lane. And that's what any off meta champion will do, right? That's why it's harder to climb with them. And that's, that's just League of Legends, right? It is what it is. That's for any off meta champion. Um, no, top, top lane's the easiest role by far for Teemo. Yeah, if, you, if you're going to play off meta, like I said, here's how it, I played Teemo Jungle for 10 years. I hit Challenger playing Teemo Jungle. I built my following off playing Teemo Jungle, right? If there's anybody that could comment on being an off meta enthusiast, it's definitely me. And even now, I don't recommend people to play off meta. Because one, you have to survive the mental battle, right? Like every game you're going to get flamed or someone's going to shit talk you. That kind of takes a toll after a while. Um, then you have to survive like having to play two times better to accomplish the same thing, right? Like if you're playing Teemo jungle or Teemo support, 
you have to play like double as well as a Gragas player, you know? So it's a very hard battle, but hey, you get rewarded with endless attention. <laughs> yippee, yippee, I, I, okay, let's do it. So, kind of worth maybe. Vietnam Timo skin. Oh, Omega Squad Timo. Okay, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Omega Squad Timo got fixed years ago. Hurricane for split pushing. Uh, so Hurricane got nerfed. Hurricane got nerfed already. So, but actually, what looks like a viable build, Static Shiv is um. Static Shiv is getting buffed, and some Teemo players are going Static Shiv into full AP, which is like Hurricane. They both clear the wave. And honestly, I haven't played with it yet. I'm waiting for it to get buffed. That's in two days from now, I think. No, sorry. That's on Wednesday. So two, four, four days from now, Static Shiv gets buffed. There might be like a Static Shiv, Nashers, Leandri's build, right? That could be really good. So we're going to have to wait and find out, but that's going to be like the, the, the pushing waves fanatic kind of angle. Like I said, it sounds good on paper. We'll see how it works out. But Hurricane's pretty dead for Teemo. It got nerfed. Yeah, I coach... Um, do X page point socials. I coach... Um, so here, let me run you down on the coaching. So I'm actually really good at coaching. I, I coach very limited for years. All my info's in Discord, but I... Like, okay, so... Damn it. Okay. I went to go find my jersey, but anyway, um, join my Discord, which should be, it should be on my socials link. Um, I, I've been coaching for years. I actually was with Cloud9 for a while. I went through their coaching program and I coached with them for a bit. So I have experience coaching Cloud9. I have experience coaching with Challenger, uh, Challenger, uh, CCA, like I think it was like Challenger League Academy or something. So I've been coaching for a while, but the way I coach, I only coach like once a month, really. I coach once a month or if I'm going to go bankrupt because coaching is such a time investment, right? For me to coach for two hours, I charge, I think, like $100 or $150. And like, it's not worth it monetarily, but I do like, you know, having players get better, building that connection, building that bond and all that. But if you're interested, check my Discord. It's not open right now. It's probably not going to be open until next month um, because I already have four people I'm coaching. But maybe next month you can get in. I should actually, I should actually flaunt that a little more, dude. I coach with Cloud Nine. That's pretty dope. I have a jersey, but I couldn't find it. I tried to show it off. Well, no, I coach on, I mean, I could coach on anything, right? Like, sure, I know that I hit Challenger playing Teemo Jungle, right? And I hit Challenger playing Teemo Top Lane. At one point, I was ranked 70th in NA playing Teemo Top and Teemo Jungle. And I know I hit Challenger on two different roles, you know, three different years. I know that I'm the only person ever to hit Challenger on Teemo Jungle. But I can play other champions, and I can coach other champions. So I coach top mid and jungle all champions. Again, I know that I'm, I'm breaking all these 
achievements, accolades, Guinness Book of World Records on Teemo, doesn't mean I can't play other champs. Hey, kick ass McDuck. I've been playing with um I, I've been playing with Kraken Slayer. It sucks on Teemo. It's trash. So my new jungle build is Rage Blade first item, then either Wits End or Bork second, and then tank or damage third. The second most handsome team main, who's the first? Hold up, time out. Me? Interesting. No, Bork first in the jungle is pretty bad because the build pad's pretty bad. You don't make use of the Vamp Scepter in the jungle. The Vamp Scepter is really good top lane, but in the jungle it's useless. You don't make uh, use of the Pickaxe in the jungle because 25 AD is not that big of a deal. So you want to have your first item be good with the components. After that, your first item needs to be good with the components because, you know, you need, you need to be strong. But after that, the components can be weaker, right? But Rage Blade has the Rage Knife, which is the best single component in the game for Teemo. Then it also has the Amp Tomb, which is good. But Blade of Rune King, Vamp Scepter's useless, Pickaxe is okay, and then you have the Recur Bow, which is actually good, but it's only one good component. You shouldn't be you shouldn't be trying to um and all this I, all this I explain in my my guides if you want to check out my YouTube channel. Um also replying to Alan. Uh, you don't want to be finding an easy champion to learn, right, when you're playing League. You want to be finding a champion that you like. Because, like, there's no easy champion. Champs all to have their own little, like, stuff you have to learn. Like, Teemo's an easy champ to play, but playing him above Silver's not. So it's like, you should be looking for a champion that you can invest in, that you like playing, that you feel like you can play every day forever. Because when you want to get better at League, it's a proven method. Like, there are a lot of one tricks in High Elo because if you play one champion every game, right, you can now learn League of Legends. Because if you have to learn your champion, you're not going to be learning League. So just pick one champion, one role you like, play it as much as possible, and think about learning other champions after 100 games. That's the best way of going about it. Uh, do you all want to see me play Teemo Jungle, or do you want to see me play a different champion? What's it going to be, y'all? I could play Vi Jungle. I could win the game in five minutes if you want. I could play Teemo. I could play probably not Lee Sin, but I could play Teemo or Vi. What are we thinking? Want to see me care on Teemo Jungle? Okay. Okay. I got you. I have to hope my team doesn't flame me. Let's get our Twitch link. Uh, let's get our Twitch link. We're not on Twitch. Let's get our stream link ready. When you play Teemo Jungle, you, even if you're not me, you should lie and say you're me. Because your team will hate you if they see you're locking in Teemo. So you have to always make sure to let them know. And even this doesn't work all the time. Pro player Vi. Listen, my Vi, when, my Vi is my best other champion. Yeah, link my account. Screw it. But like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm Manko. I'm smurfing. I'm, like, go for it. Me too, I swear. <laughs> Kindred's a pretty good jungler. Kindred might smoke me. Kindred's really good right now. Okay, so playing in the jungle, we got to switch up our runes a little bit because we got to be strong like bowl. Let's see. So the best early ganking page is Flaherty Waterwalking. You're, you're the Swiss Scout moving all over the place. But you can, if you want to farm a little more, you can go Boots and Cosmic Insight. That's fine, too. I'll probably go this. 
Okay, let's do that. Yeah, you can mute. So the thing about muting, like muting is fine, but when you're playing Teemo, not top lane, you need to have an explanation for your team so they don't tilt. Because like you can lock in Teemo jungle and not say anything and just mute your team, but they're still gonna play like shit. But if I say, hey, I'm playing Teemo jungle, I'm handsome, I, I'm challenger, you know, my cock's the size of a shroom, then your team's probably not gonna tilt. So it's like, you can't always mute, but they're still gonna, if you mute them, they're still gonna play bad. So I like trying to like, you know, hey guys, it's okay, it's winnable, right? We got this, you know, your mother loves you, stuff like that. Kindred's arguably the best jungler in the game right now. It looks like they're smurfing too. So if we lose, I understand, but let's still get our best shot. For YouTube only, is that Yukino? <laughs> so this guy's a high level player. Who are you? I'm not gonna give away my identity yet. Yuki, this guy knows Yukino. Yukino's a friend of mine. He's he was he was a hundred thieves academy player. So we might have. Oh, I don't have my sweeper totem. Whoops. This guy might be good. This guy might be good. <laughs> Damn, he's playing hard to get, bro. Can somebody look up his account name? <laughs> he's playing hard to get. Get outplayed, five head. <laughs> this little fucker. <laughs> I respect it. <laughs> oh, hey, that's okay. The, okay, so guys, not to shit on your parade, but we're probably going to lose this game. This this guy is smurfing. He's a high level player. I would think he has a duo, right? Like, unless you're making content, you don't really smurf by yourself. So I would assume Kindred smurfing with another smurf. So two high level players versus one little team of jungle. Not gonna lie to y'all, we might get absolutely rolled, okay? But we're still gonna be gaming, baby. It's all good. Also, right, Kindred's the best jungler in the game right now. So I'm just letting y'all know. I'm setting the expectations so you can let be let down softly. But again, I'll still try my best for y'all. So she's invading my red buff. She marked me. She's invading my red buff. We saw her here, but she didn't do the camps. So we're actually going to wait right here at Wraiths and see if we can catch her red-handed. We'll give it a second. Then I can go to my, my, my bot side. She's probably looking for me right here. No? Okay. She probably saw that, I, that red bar was already gone. She went back to her blue or something. I'm gonna do this in the bush to make, just to make sure I don't die. Because if I go out without blind, she one taps me. Okay, we're chilling. So she did not have a good early game. That's good. That's a really good early game for little old me. I'm actually gonna commit to the farm here. We know she's topside. She'll probably kill my LeBlanc to be honest, or Pantheon. But I'm just gonna get my my farm down. I wonder if she's just gonna come headstrong into blue buff. Okay, there she is. Although we see her right there, she's probably still gonna kill my bot lane, right? Oh, LeBlanc died top lane too, right around. I'll fight her, I'll fight her at river. I'm down. She's gonna kill bot lane here. But if I get scuttle crab, I'm gonna have to give that a worth. Okay, so she's in this bush. We know she's in the bush. 
Because she was just seen bottling, she's probably waiting down there. I'm gonna give a couple more back things. I can go bottom after this gromp. I'm cool. I'm cool with taking that risk. She gets a top mark regardless. Send it! Oh darn, it's awarded. I mean, I could just haul ass over here, pants down. We might win this, we might not. Let's go for it. She's gonna be coming from this top side of the jungle. Yoink it! I don't think she saw me. We got stun, huge, boom. We got our flash, we'll take that. Could be worse. Not bad. Grass top lane is pretty stinky. It's just grass is just like grass is what I call a noob trap because it's bad at everything it does. It, it gives a little bit of tankiness, but not a lot. It does no damage. It's like mediocre in all aspects. You got this. You got this, LeBlanc. You hit these chains all day. Hey, we got. We'll take a flash. Okay, so here is going to be the part where Kendra is about to take over everybody. So the thing about playing jungle in League of Legends, in lower elo especially, it's not really about juggling good or anything. It's about just like hauling ass to every lane on repeat. And Kendra, you know, does it one of the best in the game. So she's just going to be running bot mid top everywhere on repeat. She's going to be soaking all the kills. Especially in lower elo, nobody gives a shit about warding or anything. Even the high elo sometimes it doesn't. And Teemo Jungle obviously can't do that, right? So what's going to happen is that my team's going to die to a lot of the ganks. They're probably going to get upset and flame me. And then we're going to be, uh, just, we're just going to be gaming, right? Teemo Jungle, you kind of have to get your farm off early. So I'm going to be doing a couple clues here before I get rolling. If my team go last, it's winnable. But, but if they don't, you know, hey, we lose. And that's kind of okay. That With Teemo Jungle, that's kind of how it goes sometimes. So far, like, this is a good early game, in my opinion, for me. I'm even on farm, right? Nothing crazy has happened. We got two flashes. I got a mid flash and a top flash. So that's actually pretty good. But, again, Teemo jungle, it's not a winning strategy by default where Kindred's the best jungler in the game. So, again, I'm just letting you all know what's happening before it happens so nobody freaks out. And that's why I don't really recommend playing Teemo jungle if you want to win but it is fun i, I like playing teemo jungle still sometimes i like running around and auto attacking some camps and stuff it's cool beans i think we just look for this the scuttle the scuddly doodad It's quiet. Too quiet. Oh, that was warded the whole time. Nobody told me. Yeah, I'm not going to go down there since it was just warded. We out. I'd be surprised if she hasn't took my red buff yet. I could have sworn I swept. Did I not use my super lens? Ooh, my red buff's still here. That's interesting. She saw me bottom for like 30 minutes, but didn't take it. They got a kill. That's fine. Hmm. This might not work out, but it's kind of our only option right now. Damn, he could have at least used his Ignite. Okay. I mean, honestly, not even close, to be honest. All right. If I can do this camp, I'm a beast. Y'all believe me? Do y'all believe in me? Kite! Auto! Kite! Auto! I got this! Go! My beasts are what? Bro, Teemo Jungle's broken. All right, we won the game.
That was worth it alone. I'm a winner. So if you were toxic on that panth gank, you would have you would have spam pinged his flash and ignite. Because like this should never happen. Katarina is pretty bad early game, and Pantheon's really good early game. So the fact that he's 0-2 and 1 and he didn't use Flash Ignite or anything that fight, that's pretty that's pretty silly, right? If I die there, that's ludicrous. That's outrageous. So if you're toxic, you would hit that cling 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 clack. Ping 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 ping. But you know, we're just chilling, we're vibing. Ping, 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 pong. Dude, the rate, you get that rage knife? I'm kind of gaming a little bit, aren't I? I'm doing a little bit of that gaming. A little bit of that gaming, action. See, unfortunately, I can't go bottom here. Oh, I'll go bottom. So the problem with going bot lane this game is that our bot lane has not been wanting to do anything. So it's like they're not they're never gonna fight, they're never gonna engage. So I pretty much am just sitting here waiting for Kindred, which is not really the best strat. It's okay, perhaps. Hey, she's dodging my autos, it's not fair. Oh I got blind! Oh, is cat coming? Pantheon, click that ult, baby! Click that ult! Do it before Cat comes! Click that ult, Pants! Click it! Okay, it's fine. We didn't want you to ult anyway. I maybe could have flashed for a kill. Cat's still coming, by the way. Let's stay. You got this, Pants. Click that ult for us, baby boy. Ult! Ult down here, Pants. Ult down here. Kindred's coming. Pantheon! Ult! Click it! Kindred's still here. We're gaming. No, that's okay. I'm out. Hey, our bot lane kind of played that well. Kudos to them. Okay, pants dead. Okay. All right. All right, this has developed into one of those fabled 4v6s. Because our pants is not playing for our team, guys. He's playing for the enemy team here. He picked Pantheon mid, and, he, and he's losing lane. I'm down to go for this still. LeBlanc, LeBlanc top is 0-3, guys. Ooh, they're definitely gonna fight. Ooh, nice. We get a kill. All right. We'll try our best in the bot lane. Let's do this. I don't care if Kindred's down here. Let's do it. For Narnia, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Um, she can still dodge autos. It's all good? That's fine, we got a kill. Hey, we're kind of rolling a little bit, we're 3-0. Honestly, if you were to press tab here, I'm 3-0, Kindred's 3-0-2, and our LeBlanc's 0-3, our Pants 1-3, we're kind of gaming, aren't we? We're playing the worst jungler in the game, she's playing the best jungler in the game. I have an 0-3 top and a 1-3 mid. Uh, we're gonna game it a little bit, aren't we? We're doing some gamer things. I'm gonna clear these camps and go topside. Honestly, I trust the Aphilios. I, I believe in the Aphilios carry, do y'all? At the end of the day, Panther could be 0-14. He can still press W, right? That's what we're banking on. Okay, I go steel caps for sure. Boom, boom, and then we'll go for wit's end. Wit's end second seems good here. Because wit's end is just kind of like a solid item for Teemo. I get wit's end, that will protect me from the knot and the cat, and then the steel caps protects me from the kindred and the Nyla. That's kind of like the game plan. Then after wits, I will think about my third item. I don't think Bork would be good this game. They don't really have any tankier champions. Okay, Garen is 2-0, so I highly doubt I can kill him. I'm down just to hold the turret, I suppose. But 
Those gotta kill. All right, let's go ahead and punish Kindred a bit by getting her, ooh. Wait, this game's winnable. We have the better ADC. When you have the better ADC, anything's possible. I'm down to game. LeBlanc TP, she's 0-4, trying to get on the board. Let's see how it works out. Hey, you're not allowed to be over here. Bro, she's kind of fed. Oh, a beast! Die, blue buff, die! Bro, she one-shot me. What was that about? Kendra, don't come over here. One time when we had something nice in life. Come on. One time, baby. I'm a beast. Winnable. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I had to check my underwear. I'm pretty sure I shat myself. I didn't think Katarina was gonna be there. First off, I didn't think Kat was gonna be there. Second off, I didn't think she was gonna one-shot me like that. Like what? Third off, how am I alive? Fourth off, I'm a beast. Okay, can I can I have a second here to recollect my thoughts? Why are they in our jungle right now? Milio, you do not want me one kindred, sir. You do not want me one her. I'm on my way. All right, Pantheon, one time, baby. One ult, baby. One ult, Pantheon. You hit these. Press that R key, buddy. You can press that R key, go there quicker. Press that R key, big dog. You press R, Pantheon. You can press R. You got the stun off? Okay. We don't need the R key. I'm going to play this one slow. I don't want to get too crazy. Ah, oh, good flash. I'm going for it. Get back here, Naughty Nautilus. I'm the Swiss Scout, bro. You can't outrun me. I'm Swift. I'm still the Swiss Scout. I don't care if Nautilus here. Okay. I got I got his ult. That's fine. What are you doing, ma'am? Miss ma'am? Panth, you got this. Bro, Panth, click the R button. I don't think he knows. I don't think he knows he's an R key. He's not using He hasn't used it all game. We should not stay here. This is not a good idea, but I have to stay because my team wants to. If it, wherever, whatever Affiliates does, I have to stay. Oh, sweet lord. I wonder how this is going to go for us. It's going to go excellent, just like I told you all. Is it winnable or what? All right, now we should really leave. Now we should think about leaving. Yo, guarantee I'm out. I gotta roll. Okay, let's recap. Our LeBlanc's 0-4. Our Pantheon doesn't know that he has an R key. But it's winnable. We have a Fed Affilios. And I'm fed. Jungle diff. Oh, he knows? We're learning, we're adapting. No, we're not. Yes, yes, Pant, just do it. Get down here. Pan, come on, they're still gonna be over here, buddy. Okay. Okay, Pan, I've seen you hit these, bro. I've seen you hit these, Pan. He's doing it. I got blind on Garen if that helps. Did it help? I think it did. Alright, this game's winnable, honestly. This is winnable. Super winnable. Their Kindred has 100% win rate. We're trying to take down the Demon Gang. 100% win rate Kindred, we're trying to take them down. Do I go Thornmail or Randuins? I think it's Thornmail. Because I don't think uh, Kindred's going to build any crit, right? I need armor right now, right? Their magic resist isn't that much. I need armor. Yes, sir. I think Drake could be good. I mean, we could fight this, I suppose. I'm on my way. I don't think they're going to go anywhere, right? <clears throat> All right, I'm starting to doubt this chase. Oh, now we're not. Who's that? That's Garen behind us. That's okay. I should protect the Filios from the Garen. Oh, Garen just left. He dipped. Oh, the Pantheon of Sun? Nice. Wait, Garen TP'd and he ran away. <laughs> Yo, Garen TP'd and ran for the hills. That was wonderful. Look, look. <laughs> he TP'd and ran. <laughs> Let's go. Don't do it. Get out of here. No, come on. Stop it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we gotta go to Drake. Wait, what's he doing? Um, hello? We're going to the Drakey Poo, guys. Let's do it. Panic, try us over here. 
Cat's gonna be here. Guarantee our kindred's coming. So we gotta be a little, gotta be a little careful. I'm down just to do it though. I don't. I've never missed a smite in my life. Why start now? All right, we're kind of rolling. We're kind of rolling in the deep here. Don't call Adele. All right, we go scut scut. If Kindred's here and tags me, I think I can kill her pretty easily. Okay, we're gaming. I'd love to go check out their blue, to be honest. Kindred has no ult. Whenever you evade on Teemo, it's just a little risky. I'm gonna walk over there. Okay, you know, I'll go ahead and leave. I'll, I'll, hey, we can leave, that's fine. I don't wanna, I don't really want that blue. I don't like the color blue, actually. We'll leave, their whole team's there. All right, we're playing around Aphilius. Aphilius is the only teammate I care about. I wonder if they're just gonna tilt and do Baron. They definitely could if they want to. Oh no, it's coming right here. Um, okay. They had that they had me set up. No, come on, chill. Bro, it was warded. I got scammed. Okay, Panth, I don't know if that's the best soul. Maybe it is. Affiliates is kinda gaming. Damn. Okay, we'll take it. They can't do Baron, that's fine. Um, guys, Garen's gonna be there. Honestly, I kinda got played, I'm not gonna lie. Kudos to them. Kater Katarina got my shutdown. Okay. LeBlanc's on the board, LeBlanc has a kill? Oh my fucking God, or LeBlanc is going tank. Um, am I being trolled? Our one in four LeBlanc is a Frostfire Gauntlet. Hello? Winnable? Oh, sweet lord, I don't want to watch. I gotta look the other way. Oh my good god. Good golly, Miss Molly. All right, so I need Thornmill and Stoneplate. Thornmill and Stoneplate, I win the game because I got Stoneplate the Katarina ult. That's the setup I'm going for. Phileos is still the win con. He's playing really well. I don't think I have to go for this fight, but I'm kind of down. Oh, Kindred's right here. Oh, okay. I see what's happening. I see what's happening here. Okay. Now we're at that point of the game, aren't we? We're at that point of the game. We have to try and work around our Panther and our cat. How are we gonna do this? Okay, I legit have to discipline myself. I can never go anywhere unless Aphilius is there. That's the kind of game we're in. I can't be doing that. Cause they're they're gonna be perma grouped. I have to be with Aphilius at all times. This is the part of the game where it gets hard. Cause if you look at their team, they're all trying their best, right? Nihilus 3 and 6 not having a good game, but she's still doing stuff. Nautilus is 0 and 5, but he's still Nautilus. We have a fucking tank LeBlanc and a Pantheon that can't click W. So we have our work cut out for us. They're doing Baron. Panth has R, so you better you better throw that over there, buddy old bow. Panth, you gotta click that R key. Get away from Cat. You better click that R key, buddy. Hey guys, they're still on Baron. Nice, they just do Baron. Dude! <laughs> Why? Oh, fucking Pantheon hate us. I gotta throw a couple pings. I have to throw a couple pings, guys. I gotta. I gotta. There's no way. Dude, they, we have a ward on Baron. We seen them go to it. Oh, my sweet Lord, have mercy on my soul. If we win this game, I deserve the Nobel Peace Prize. I 
don't think it's possible. Well, I, I, I concede. I concede. I admit defeat. The reason I don't think it's possible is because we don't have five players, guys. We've got three. Me, Philios, and, and Milio are trying the best. I don't know if this is possible, though. And I don't want to find out. It's a noble effort. It's a noble effort. I, I mean, hey, we're playing and I'm down to play, I suppose. I'm saying there's no there's no harm in a noble effort. Like I said, it's truly like we have a two and five LeBlanc top and a two and five Panth mid. And LeBlanc went full tank. So it's like, listen, guys, you know, it kind of happens. Sometimes that's how life works out. I, I have to beg him to use his ult. I like have to beg him for him to even consider it. Yoink. Oh, never mind. I think I just, I, maybe I just split push. Because this is one of those games, I think I'm done team fighting. I think the team fighting route, like it worked out for a while, but I'm not sure it's going to work out. I think I split. I split and I pray that only one person follows me. I think that's kind of the strat. And good luck to my team with everybody else kind of deal. Because I don't think the team fights are going to work out in our favor. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is how the game's going to go. We don't have five players, so I don't think it's... I don't think it's ever going to go better. This one, we had a good run, guys. We had a good run. I gotta pee, I'll be right back. This game kind of makes me a believer in the team of jungle again. Because we almost took down a 100% win rate Kindred. In this game. That's kind of, that's kind of insane. I'm not going to be that guy to spam FF votes, but I'm going to commit to the splitting. We're going to commit to the splitting now. Because like I said, the team fights aren't even. I don't think LeBlanc and Panther are interested. So we're going to try and split here and just chill. I mean, hey, if Aphilios pulls off a miracle and, like, wins a team fight, you know, bless him. But I think it's in my best interest to split and probably just try and not die. If I die, that's okay, though. I wonder if Garen can 1v1 me. I think he can, but I'm down to try. I'm down to try that as well. The old 1v1. I could use another damage item too. My damage is kind of falling off a hair. No, that's hey, listen, that's totally fine. Good luck, Aphilios. You defend the fort here. I believe in you. Um, cat, you can kill me. It's not fair. Your 
Listen, we either lose or Aphelios kills him here. See, that's totally fine. I'm cool with that. There's a Nautilus here. Hey, get out of there, punk. All right, GG. Like I said, that game, we tried our best. We almost beat 100% win rate Kindred. And that was, that was something. And we kept it funky fresh for most of the match. I can't I can't be upset about that Teemo Jungle game. Oh come on, end the game. No. You son of a gun. Now they're just me now they're just messing with us. They're just they're just messing with us, aren't they? Oh my god. Pressing tab and looking at the LeBlanc build. <laughs> She's playing that ultimate bravery. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Holy smokes. Please don't come bottom, guys. Go get Baron and go end. I give you permission. Nobody bought, please. Please and thank you. Oh, there's only three at Baron. I'm getting set up. It's a scam. It's a ruse. I don't know if I want to fight this, to be honest. Katarina's bottom. This is a 5v4. This is our best odds. Good luck, guys. We're autoing. Nice try. It happens, guys. GG. GG. I don't know if Kendra's broken. Like I said, that game... Funny enough, that game did not come down to the Kindred. Like I said, I, th I think we know what happened here. <laughs> I think we have a pretty good idea what happened. <laughs> Holy smokes. All right, listen. If we don't tilt from that game, I don't think we'll ever tilt again in our life. So let's run it back. We go again. We're not playing in silver. My account is silver one, but we're playing in platinum diamond. Hashtag MMR. I'll give the honor to Aphilios. He really tried his best. I respect that. All right, damage check just for the giggles. LeBlanc did 15k. Pant did a whopping 11k. Damage taken. Hey, LeBlanc got it. Hey, LeBlanc got it. Did a little bit of something, something. He did a little something, something. All right, that was not a good game, but next game will be. How about that? I like them apples. Well, I mean, of course, I play Teemo Jungle. It's always a jungle gap. Teemo Jungle will never do anything. Come on now. It's always Teemo Jungle's fault. That's nothing new. It's been like that for 10 years. Don't matter if you're 20, you know, or own 20. Hey, what's up, Sean Price? How you been, buddy? You know, I've actually cranked out a couple mid Teemo games. Mid Teemo is underrated. I think mid Teemo is actually pretty decent. I started playing League, uh, I'm responding to Kenzo. So I was always, so my my gaming history was World of Warcraft, then throughout, when I was a teenager, I played the hell out of Halo. Halo 3 and COD. And then I was addicted to WoW again. So, but pretty much one of my friends said, bro, look at this cool game that came out. I think I was playing Mists of Pandaria and the expansion was kind of ass. So I was like, dude, look at this game, Holy Legends. I was like, okay, I'll try it. His name is Scariano, Sean Scariano. 
And then um, I started playing and never looked back. Yo, Philios, GG, bro. You played great, man. Nice try. Yeah, like I said, we had the double whammy. So they had, like that game, the fact that we even had a chance to win is a Christmas miracle. Because they have, they had 100% win rate Kindred. We would assume that they're playing with a duo, right? So they, 100% win rate jungler, best jungler in the game, and they had a duo. And then we also had a tank LeBlanc and a Pantheon that didn't R. So like the fact that we even at least had a chance at winning, like dude, I already feel like Christmas game early. There's not much to complain about after that one. GG's for sure. All right, we're playing top lane versus the Nar, the Nar guy, that Nar feller. That's pretty, Nar's a pretty easy lane for the time out. He who shall not be named. <laughs> hey guys, can you guess what person we're talking about? This person was a Teemo man at one, one point. He who shall not be named, his name rhymes with Booback. Can you guess who it is? <laughs> I don't think, if I played Teemo mid, I probably wouldn't go on hit. Because on hit is, um, on hit is, on hit is pretty much, you're not doing anything to one item, right? That's, that's pretty much why I like a top lane so much. Because top lane, you're kind of chilling either way. So you go conditioning overgrowth, those runes don't kick in until 10 minutes. You're just chilling. And then when you get conditioning overgrowth popped, you also get your Bork and then you kill everybody. So it's like, you're kind of weak into one item and then from one item to the rest of the game you're just killing everybody but teemo mid and teemo jungle right teemo mid you can't wait for one item you're in the middle of the map you have to either beat your laner or be ready to roam so i don't think i would um i don't think i would go on hit for teemo mid and if i did i wouldn't use conditioning overgrowth but again i don't think i would go on hit for teemo mid because ap teemo is still good i just think on hits better for top lane I think on hit is 100% better. And you can look at my OPGG on my main account. The stats, like the Terra on definitely shows that. But for mid lane, AP is probably still better. Yeah, my runes are my runes are on the screen on the screen every single game right here. You have Pressy Attack, and then you have Overheal, which is really slept on. And you have Alacrity, Coup de Grog, Conditioning Overgrowth. Um, the way, the reason, the way I make on hit Teemo work pretty much is that I go really tanky. Cause when you're playing on hit Teemo, I can leash him. I'd rather leash him than him be upset. You shouldn't leash his top lane. You want to win your lane. But if your jungler asks for it like that, he's a needy son of a gun. So, um, so pretty much the way I make on hit Teemo work, right? I go really tanky cause the thought process is, Hey, if I have to auto attack instead of just putting shrooms down, I have to be able to take a hit. So what I do here in my runes, I have Overheal, which is a 300 health shield late game. I have Conditioning, which is 10 armor and MR. And I have Overgrowth, which is 200 health. On top of that, I go the Tanky Boots, right? And then my two item spike is Bork Rage Blade. And then after two items, I go Tanky again. So it's like, hey, I can take a beating and I can dish out a beating. The only thing I have to do is be able to auto attack. And it's pretty damn good. And with Rage Blade being buffed, like, think about Rage Blade. If you look at this item, there's no way this is a bad item. This is why we're going on hit Teemo. Look at this thing. Read this item. 30 AD, 30 AP, 30 on hit damage, 32% attack speed. You get armor pen and magic pen. Like, this item was made for Teemo, right? So it's like, all every build is based around your mythic item. If you read this item out loud, you gotta, like, your draw drops to the floor. You, you, you know, you get, you know, it, the joke is bad. We just have to find a way to make it work, which is what I'm doing. And what the other team of mains are not doing. That's why you follow the one and only Manko One. The one's not my name for no reason, right? There's only one of me. Well, actually, my second YouTube channel is Manko Two, so maybe not. What I do here is I miss the first TS on purpose just to, like, bait my enemy in into, you know, thinking I'm a noob. I'm down to fight this. He doesn't know that Jarvin's come around the corner. I'm level one, but I have a dream. Oh, he kind of fumbled that flash, didn't he? No, he didn't. That was perfect. Good job. 
That was an interesting gank. So I got punished for leashing. You notice I leashed and Nar just shoved the wave in? That was pretty good from him. But then he saved me by um that pretty nice gank. So good job by him. Also, you notice what I did there? I baited. That was called a bait. Like, if you're a bad top laner, you would just not fight there. I see him getting mauled by Zed, but I can't move. I gotta get my wave. If you're a bad top laner, you just wouldn't even move. Like, oh, Jarvan's coming, you don't even react. But a good top laner like my, my like, like myself, right? I could take that fight because I know Jarvan's coming. So if, if I get low, it's all good. I'm just baiting. I missed that cannon on purpose again because I suck at League of Legends. Why do I miss so much CS? Can somebody help me? Damn. They are ruthless for our jungler. Sometimes I feel like I just miss CS for fun. Just to keep myself accountable. I don't know. There's got to be a reason why I miss so much CS for no reason. I don't think Rengar will actually gank top. Rengar killed our Jarvan at rates, but I don't think he's going to come top lane. You know what it is? I miss CS because I'm too busy entertaining the crowd, right? I talk every second of the time I'm playing because I'm the best streamer in the world. So actually I miss yes for y'all. So you should give me all your money, all your paychecks, all your bank account now. I do it for the people. Or am I just overdosing on the copium? All right, Rengar is probably top lane, let's be real. Cause Scuttle Crab spawned, like this guy's probably eyeing at top lane. Let's get a little ward down. We're still looking okay. Nars are pretty easy lane, so we're chilling. He can kill me at level six if he plays it well, but I think we'll be able to outplay him. I'm gonna go play the Rune King first. I'm gonna, only gonna go one boot to speed. I'm not gonna go into the full steel caps. Cause if I'm get, ever gonna have a chance at killing him, I need that Borky Dorky. And he's gonna get HP, so it should work out pretty well. I will go Steel Caps though later in the game. Look how good Steel Caps are this game. They have AD jungle, AD mid, AD top. This is like a, this is a Bork Rageblade game. And then I go like Thornmail or Randuins. Probably two armor items to be honest. And this is where on hit shines the most. Cause when you can be tanky while dishing out damage, it's so damn good. There's Rengar just like right on time. That's fine. I'll, well, I can't, maybe I can stop his base. Wait, that wasn't worth it. Um. Guys, that wasn't worth it. I, mistakes were made. <laughs> I stopped his base, to be fair. I did stop his base. At what cost? <laughs> I'm going to have to give that a worth. <laughs> I'm going to give that a worth angle. Hey, Truth Seeker. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for the five euros. I deserve every cent of that. Thanks, pal. You know what's sad? I'm, I'm up three CS still, and I feel like I missed every CS like in the first 10 minutes of the game. Okay, there's no way Rengar is still top lane, and I have ult, so we're good. We can just kind of run at him if I want. I don't have flash, so I can't come anymore, but I'm down to dance a little bit. We're versing some Smurfs today. Look at his username. That's definitely a Smurf name. Oh, he missed his jump. Do I have enough damage? Nah, I don't think I would. Oh, their Jin's tilted. That's huge. Good job, Yarvin. I'm low, but it's, it doesn't matter. Unless Rengar, if Rengar comes top, it matters. But me being this low is fine. There's no way I'm ever gonna kill him. I think I'll just, I'll just push and leave. He's, he's respect me enough. Cool, miss all the CS on the way out. What's new? Get the wave shoved in, nice. Damn, their team is already turning on Rengar. Look at that. Their team's already turning. Rengar's not playing that bad. Bro, whenever people... Okay, this is... League of Legends is such an odd world to live in. Because, like, where's the accountability? Jarvan has 6 KP at 6 minutes. Like, does nobody ever think, hmm, maybe I don't have to die every single time he ganks, right? Like, Jin is dead three times. Nobody stops and wonder, hmm... I've died three times in six minutes. How about I just don't die for one minute, right? How come that, you know, nobody ever thinks like that. Like you don't have to just like die to every gank. You don't really have to. It's an option for sure. It's an option they're taking, but you don't have to take that option. I don't want to let him have this cannon. That's what I'm trying to deny here. He might die for it, huh? 
Oh, you know he wanted that cannon. That's why he's sticking around. That's huge. Top laners will do that very often. Dying for the cannon is actually worth it, believe it or not. It's like my best strategy. You all, top laners will always die for the cannon or die pushing the wave. Whoa, Joshua with the $20. Thank you for the CS and the doggy treats. <laughs> Thank you, Joshua. You're, you're awesome. Thanks so much. I appreciate that a ton. Dude, their team is so tilted. This is wonderful. <laughs> what the heck? I've never seen people tilt this hard. Ooh, if Ali comes, we could tilt Nar, and that'll be it. Then everybody on their team's tilted. Well, if he gets Mega Nar, we can't do anything. All right, they're just doing Herald. This Nar is actually a good player. We're reversing a lot of Smurfs today. It's interesting. Okay, I don't think he kills me here. Dude, why am I doing so much damage and why is he so squishy? Mega Nar, you do not underestimate him. It's always safe just to, when he turns big, you just chill. If Valley wants to dive, I'm down. We risk it all. No, okay, that's fine. Ooh, clean. Ali, you got this, bro. Maybe not. Oh, Jarvan's got it. Okay, their team's going to tilt so hard. If Nar dies, it's the last person on their team that's not tilted. All right, and now Nar's tilted. Yeah, I'm going to leave. I'm out. Got a roll, dog. I, don't, I think I have to make sure I don't throw here. Because, like, this game looks like a freebie, but I don't think it is. I think we've got to play. Hey, Archie with the $2. Ma Where is Manko 2? Manko 2 is my second YouTube channel. I don't know if that was rhetorical or not, but please check it out. That's where I post all my other content. He's my evil twin brother. He plays Pokemon. He, he uh, plays Star Wars. I think he plays other champions, too. That guy's a beast. <laughs> okay. Okay, my CS isn't that bad, guys. I know it's bad, but it's not that bad. Thank you. Crispy with the $10. How you doing? Thank you. Jesus, Lord. Y'all have no mercy on me. If I had Ignite up, that would have been good. But that guy's screwed, right? I can just tower dive him. He's going to have to TP or something. I hit that cannon. Let's go. I mean, he was asking for it, basing there. Ringer can ult me, but I don't give a damn. Oh, I, I do give a damn. I'm dead. I'm just going to try and fight it. Don't go in the bush, please. Oh, I needed one more auto. That's fine. We'll take it. We'll take it. I needed one auto. Uno mas. That's it. I need an Uno. We'll take it though, that's fine. Now I'm strong. What's sp spicy content? Spicy meatball. Uh oh. You know, we're only down. We're, they're only down seven kills. We don't have any Drakes or Heralds, so. I think they could still win. I like to max W second whenever I'm not going AP. Because when you're not going AP, your Q costs a crap ton of mana. Look at the mana cost, right? 90 mana for a full rank Q, that kind of adds up. So the 90 mana when I'm going on hit, on hit doesn't have, Nar is, Nar is at Drake. I kind of respect that. So I had to really, I had to push the tempo here and get a uh, get top tower. Because Nar is about to wreck my team. So when he's wrecking my team, that's fine if he wrecks my team, but I have to push top and get plates. Because he gets a kill there, but if I get two plates, I get more gold, which is fine. All right, we have a ball game, guys. This one's not over yet. Rengar is now four and one. Rengar is up a level, right? We don't have four Drake Gwincon. We have a ball game. I have to make sure I carry. I just unlocked my conditioning overgrowth. That's good. It still looks good for us, but I'm just saying you could lose any game, to be honest. Every game's losable. 
Nar just went bottom. He's like, I'm not leaning top anymore. That's kind of funny. It worked out, though. Kudos to him. What's up, Rory? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. These first two games have sucked. I think it's primarily Manko's dog shit team of jungle. Um, that was my Twitch alert. Somebody subbed on my Twitch. Oh, I'm an idiot. I have my Twitch alerts labeled, not my YouTube. Oh, there we go. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm trolling. My bad. Oh, well, somebody subbed on Twitch. And we got some YouTube subs there. Thank you, thank you guys. My bad. Whoops. I should probably leave. I don't think I could 2v1 right now. Hey, Ficken. Thank you, buddy. Oh, yeah. I have work. I have work, pal. Oh, my sweet lord. What is that, Mr. Nar? Mr. Nar, what was that about? Okay, I think Lux was coming over here. Are there Lux supports coming to top? Zed's here. Okay, I could leave. I've got no mana anyway. Wasn't Zed right there? Am I seeing things? Well, I'm already committed, so. In hindsight, I should have kept pushing if nobody was going to come over there, but I think I'm seeing things. Pro streamer, yeah. Um, I am not streaming at two platforms. Uh, I'm only streaming on YouTube today. I don't like doing multi-platforms because even if I could, which I can because my internet, but even if I could, I don't know. I feel like that kind of makes it not, not as special, right? I don't know. Like with this YouTube stream, this YouTube series, you're only going to see it on my YouTube stream, right? And in my Twitch streams, you're only going to see on Twitch. It, it makes it feel special. I streamed every platform. I'm going to ignore half the chat and just like, I don't know. It feels kind of, I don't know. It feels kind of weird. That's just my take. My brain's not big enough to pay attention to two chats. All right, Nara's going to kill my team again. I'm just going to push top. We're chilling. <laughs> Report Toxic Jin crying level three. Congrats, you found an average player. Dude, this Alistar is based. I like that a lot. That was funny. That turret's discriminating. That didn't hit me. All right, so we're, I mean, we win this game, right? There's no way we lose. We're kind of just hanging around with till the FF. Hey, Rengar. Can I just kill you, please? Thanks, sir. Okay, fine. I'll flash. Jeez. Zev lost one v one, so he's flaming everyone else. That's, I mean, that's, yeah, that's what we do. Can you just come back here? Can you make it easy? We're literally in their base. Uh, I think I might be dead, guys. Oh, I almost pulled the, the wool over their eyes. Oh! Oh. Honestly, I'm gonna have to say worth it. I, like, that's gotta be worth it, right? That was definitely worth. I may as well not go any damage. Do I? I mean, I may as well not go any tankiness. This game's over. Let's just build an item we don't usually build. What can we build here? Let's go static shiv. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? It's getting buffed soon. Oh! Okay, we might lose. Time out. Hold up. They just aced us. Well, I'm not going to throw. Let's keep building what we want to build. I'm going armor. Going little randies. All right, we might throw. 
I don't think I need Zanya's. I think I can get so tanky this game that I can just go armor and set and be like a raid boss. I think Zanya's is good some games, but it's really hard to use. Oh, okay. Well, we got to stop messing around. We have to win now. Now it gets, gets a little serious, doesn't it? There's a cat on my mouse pad. Go back here, Zed. I, I don't... Oh, okay. That's fine. Frosty, what's up, buddy? Yes, Wee! I'm autoing. Dude, look at the overheal shield. 260 shield at the moment. That's insane, right? This, this rune is so good. Base proxy? Hmm? Um, that's the other poison champ. Just let me kill you, buddy. Let me kill you. Make it easy. Make it easy. Make it easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That armor is coming in handy. Blind! Ow! He just stepped on me. He squashed me like a freaking Mario Boomba. Is that what it's called? Goomba? What's up, Connor? How you doing? Did you make up your mind? Are you going to that convention yet? It's coming up soon. Doink. Dude, Frosty's in the background jumping around my office like a jungle gym. Can y'all see him? Come here, Frosty. Come here. I know what you want. I know what you want. Come here. Come here. Come here, Frosty. It's about that time of the day. Come on. Come on, Frosty. He's staring and sniffing my feet. Frosty. He's headbutting my leg now. There he is. There's Daddy's boy. There he goes. Watch. He'll probably do his rollies. He likes to, I, I was waiting in I was waiting in base for my item anyway, because I'm a strategical player. He likes to he likes to do the rollies in the arm. Little rubby. God, he's such a cute cat. Come back here, Zed. Hey, you slowed me. That's not fair. Come back! <laughs> you little rat. This guy's such a little rat. <laughs> you think he's gonna kill me? All that for what? We could have made that a lot easier. Oh. That's fine. I don't think he kills me. I think I'm good. I have a cat on my lap. Let's... Auto, 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 auto. Good job, Frosty. Good job. Damn, my whole team sucks. <laughs> that was a freebie, huh? They gave us a free one. They gave us a free one. All right, GG. GG's. That was a freebie. Thank you, Riot. Thank you. All right, we, we got to give it to Big Ben Dan on the honor. He was ganking a lot. 
We're in gold? Hell yeah, okay. For anybody new tuning in, this is our Unranked to Challenger. Oh, I want to see the drama. This is our Unranked to Challenger YouTube series, where I stream every Saturday. And I play on one account for YouTube only, trying to teach how to climb as a Teemo top leaner. Right now, we're going on hit every game, because on hit's pretty good. It just got buffed. But then even if on hit's not good, we'd be going AP, we'd be doing all, the, doing all of it. So thanks for being here. Negative one LP. Report Nar, Zed, and Rangar. <laughs> the Lux is just like report them all. <laughs> okay. All right, run it back. Nar matchup is always is always decent. The the thing about Teemo is that. When you play in high elo, when you play in challenger, the matchups change, right? Because the challenger Nar, you never kill him. But if you're playing in iron, bronze, silver, gold, plat, you always kill Nar. Same with Jax. Like challenger Jax, I am even scared to leave my turret, right? I had to burst TF Blade the other day and I was shaking in my boots. But then playing versus Jax in lower elo is kind of okay. So it's almost like a two part question. Nar is going to be easy till master is still grandmaster. And then master's grandmaster is still easy. You just can't even think about killing him. Because he can always cut you, he has, you know, slow, he can get his health back, stuff like that. We got another good, uh, probably like another good two games in us, maybe even three games. I want to play about another hour, so it depends on how quick we get in and get out. Frosty. It's frosty time. Show off. Look at this show off. You got Chevy. He doesn't even wake. He doesn't even get out of bed till one. So he's just chilling on his pillow. And the cats start terrorizing super early in the morning. Look at this guy. He loves stealing my chair, man. He loves taking my chair. What's up, little roly poly boy? Rub, 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 roly, roly, shed, shed. If you're a dumb player, you can still climb to gold. You All you have to do is play enough. So you need to play, like to climb at all from any rank, you gotta play at least 10 games a week. But if you're climbing as a dumb player, easy. Beat the system, play one champion, have one play style. Hey, the thing about being dumb is you don't think a lot, right? So if you don't have to think about your runes and builds, you get the same runes and builds every game. You don't got to think about that. You can't mess that up. In game, you have one play style, right? Like, hey, you can just auto push the lane as Teemo. You can't mess that up. There's no wave management. Now all you got to work on is auto attacking the enemy champion and not dying. That seems pretty, that's fine. We could work with that. Look at those paws. You see those paws going? He's making all the, hey, the bakery's open, everybody. Frost is on duty making biscuits. Holy smokes, look at them things. Look at those paws going wild. Captain Timo on, on that booty. Jeez, what a love bug. Get a hairless cat. What's up, Eggsy? How you doing? What's up to South Africa? What's that paw doing, butthead? What are you doing? You, you swinging? You trying to fight? What a show off. You see this guy? I don't have a chair anymore. Ow! He's a happy cat. That's a happy boy. Ooh, 
I think we got a little ball game here. Is that Darius top or Kale top? Is that Dar Darius jungle maybe? Okay, I gotta share my uh, my cat my I gotta share my chair with Frosty. Same? Are you sure about that same amount? I I I highly doubt the same amount applies there. Same, same amount, without without any of the fur. Equal to, equivalent, similar. I don't know if that's accurate. Let me call up DJ Khaled. Accurate. Hey, Lewis. Chevy is a um. Chevy is adorable, right? He's the love of my life. Love the guy to death. Um, let's see here. So Chevy, this little guy, he's paralyzed. He's been paralyzed uh, since he was two. Pretty much what happened was... Okay, my runes are set. Pretty much what happened is he was used by a breeder, right? A stud. He's a French bulldog. So a French bulldog with his pattern is pretty costly. So he was just used by the breeder. What happened was his back went out. The breeder didn't get him any help, and he went paralyzed. And he was at the rescue since he was two. But we rescued him when he was five years old. So three years in the rescue, it took him a little while. Now he has his forever home. He's adorable, love him to death. He is amazing. And um, he's living a very happy life if you can't tell, so. And we have plenty of stuff to help him out. We have a stroller for him, we have a wheelchair, and he just loves life, so it worked out in the long run. Let me go give him a pet before the game starts. Chevrolet! Chevy! Oh yeah! Immediately for the belly rubs. Whenever he gets attention, he's like, rub my belly. Rub my belly. He loves them damn belly rubs. <laughs> he's, so, God, he's so cute. What you doing, Chev? You just looking? He's like, all right, I'm just going to be here if you need me. He's like, all right, listen, bro, I'm so tired. I'm not going to move. I'll be here. <laughs> What's up, little butthead? God, he's such a little booger. I fucking love that dog. All right, Ch Frosty stole my chair. Can I get at least a chicken? Versus Kale Toplings do it. Kale's pretty weak early. They got a Darius jungle who's probably a maniac. So we gotta be careful of the Darius, but the Kale Top we can do whatever too. She she stinks early. I might even mess around and get a coal. Ooh, Wits End is looking real good this game. Wits End's gonna be looking prime for the pickings. They have AP top laner and Kale. They have AP mid laner, AP like true AP support that does damage. So we're gonna go Wits End this game. Wits End Rage Blade, then we'll think about our third item from there. I'm probably not going to kill her. I think I'm just going to focus on CSing this game. I can poke when I want to, but I'm going to try and get all my CSs. Oh. That's fine. She's weak early, so we can definitely handle this. I ordered a ward. That's fine, that's good. Okay, she's actually playing pretty well. I gotta put some respect on this Kale. She's playing pretty well, but we have a trundle around the corner. Good kiting from her. Way's pretty massive, so I gotta chill for a sec. We do have trundle coming still, this looks pretty free. 
So I'm baiting because Trundle just hit a ward, but I'm just gonna auto her anyway. Okay. Well, that's fine. I, ra I would rather just shove this with Trundle if he's down. Like, I could freeze this here, but we can also shove it. Oh, Darius is, is here. Okay, never mind. Alright, this is fine. I didn't see Darius around the corner. Okay, we're gonna have to base. I was really just baiting for Trundle to come, but I guess we'll just kill her. That's fine. That works too. Cannon wave, so I'll take my base really quick. Let's go for this. Let's go. Well, let's get coal. I'm gonna get coal this game. We're gonna farm it out. Best case scenario, I don't miss that much CS, just the cannon, because the cannon takes 40 minutes to kill. So the tower's gonna kill the cannon. I'll be up there to scoop up everything else. That'd be pretty cool. Basing on cannon waves is good, because then, like I said, the cannon takes forever to kill and it protects the other ones. Oh, I even get XP of the cannon. That's huge. That was a really good base. Because I, I only miss a few CS and I got the XPs. It's really, really good. Okay, so she's pretty weak right now. I am too. It's not like I'm strong, but I'm a gamer. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a gamer. I like to go Cole if I don't feel like I'm going to be fighting a lot. Like, this Kale is pretty decent at the game. Like, her movement, her kiting. She's kind of doing Kale things. So, I don't think she's going to give me 14 kills. So, that being said, I don't need to, like, rush my items. So, I can buy coal. I can hit some ICS, get a paycheck later. Hey, what boots am I going this game? I feel like I shouldn't go... St I think I... Murktreads actually looks pretty good, right? Murktreads will be good versus Zyra. That's about it. Maybe we'll go Steel Caps for Darius damage. Hmm, interesting choice in the boots. I could just go Berserkers, too, for more damage. Because, like, Murtreads won't be that good, and I'll have the Wits End. Maybe, I think it's Steel Caps. So I don't have any armor planned for my build. Oh, no! Oh, yes, nice. Yeah, we'll go Steel Caps. We'll go Wits End for the MR, we'll go Steel Caps for the armor. And I have everything else working for me. I'm going to poop on the Kale. If I can get her to hold a shroom, that'd be wonderful. Darius is bottom, so I can do whatever I want. I don't like starting coal anymore. Because starting coal, I feel like in League of Legends, there's so much fighting all the damn time. If you start with the coal, you're going to be weaker just in case a fight does happen. I feel like when you start laning phase, you kind of have to feel out your opponent, no matter what champion they're playing. Because some people play aggressive even on champs that you wouldn't think they would. So it's like, I feel like I was dying a lot when I went coal in fights that I didn't have to die in. So I made that adjustment to Doran's Blade. Oh, this is Darius here. Oh, he just, he turned on the jets. I don't really want to have to flash. I don't think I have to. Okay, I might have to flash, guys. I didn't want to, but he turned on the jets and yoinked me up. Should be able to get all these, right? Nice. Huge! I'm going to shove away for good luck. You may notice I pretty much just use my shrooms for pushing with this setup. My playstyle with this on-hit build has been very particular. I'm legit shoving every time I can. I'm perma-shoving the wave. I'm using my shrooms to shove the wave. I'm always shoving, creating that pressure. And I'm just playing for that one item spike. That's my setup. That's what we're going for. It's working out pretty well for me. Duo, good luck, Zaths. Yeah, somebody hook up with the with the duo. Hell yeah. Hey Jake, Teemo tops infinitely better than Teemo Jungle. I actually don't play Teemo Jungle at a competitive level anymore. I'm currently 800 LP top lane, and my D1 account is in Diamond One. Right, Jungle is infinitely harder. I don't play Jungle to climb anymore. I just play Jungle for fun when people ask me to. It's harder, it's more stressful, it's not as fun. It's really hard. Is 
Mysteria is actually on Herald. I'll toss a ward over there. That's fine. Hey, getting getting money. How you doing? What's up? Welcome, welcome. We're having a good day so far. Won a couple games, lost a couple games. I gamed in all the games, I'll tell you that much. Beating a Kale's arse. All right, Darius, where you at, buddy? You ganked me earlier. What's it gonna be, Fabio? I'm gonna use this pot here just to get my overheal shield. Oh, that wasn't supposed to hit that shroom. I messed up. Good autos from her. What I could do here, if I was playing in higher low, I would pull the wave and freeze it. Because then she would have to like walk out. But I think at this rank, I'm okay just shoving it. Because she's going to be missing a lot of CS probably. But the best strat here would be to pull you pull the wave. Because when you pull the wave, it pushes towards you and you can freeze it. But I don't, I don't think it's necessary. I don't want him to herald. No herald, please. Mid or bot. I don't think he'll listen, but it's worth trying. Cool. Just top laner things. So the reason why I don't want him to herald, like we would, we're gonna get the surplus of gold, right? Like we get a little gold, that's cool. But the the problem now is that I was beating Kale's butt, but now I'm being danger, right? Now I have to push up to her turret to get my farm. Instead of just being contained, right? Now I'm gonna be at risk. Where, you know, I wouldn't be if I had my turret. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. I'll try and make do with it. Maybe I go Drake, right? Maybe I go bottom. See how it goes. But it's not ideal. All good though. People don't really learn about like the optimal heralds to way higher little, so I can't be too upset. Got a lot of gold. I have to make a decision. Do I go bottom here or do I just go top and wait? Pretty sure the ranch is going top. The thing about turret plates is that each turret plate's worth 175 gold. So if I went bottom and I get one kill, she gets two plates. She actually comes out ahead. So we're just going to stay top here. Turret plates are really, really good. Catch any Pokemon? Cause of Pokemon cards. I'm pushing. My condition just popped. I'm tanky now. Hell yeah. Their team's kind of putting in work. I'm just going to go mid and push, I think. If I push mid, I, th I would think Silas goes bottom. And then we have some pressure going down. That's what I'm going to do. Akali doesn't realize I have wit's end, so if she fights me, it's really good for me. And I knew she had nothing up because Silas just killed her, so I'll take advantage of that. She didn't die. That's messed up. All right, Silas, you go top, buddy. There we go. Ping him a little bit. Help him out. I thought she would die, but that's okay. Nice. He can't kill me, right? I blind. Huge. That works. If I get one more plate, then I'm really rich. I'm down to risk dying to, to Kali for this. 175 gold is 175 gold, you know? Nice. The Darius kill is a bonus. The plates were a good play. Plates are good. Darius kill bonus. Hell yeah. Oh my god, he almost died. We'll take that, though. Get my little booty poos. My booty poos. We start building that rage blade. Cool beans. Silas went top lane. He helped me out there. Good job from him. Kind of want to sneak in and take our red buff, to be honest. 
Could go bottom, could go top. Plates are gone, so we can start moving around now. I think I'll take the risk bottom. I have flash, so it makes it less risky. I'm still down for this. We can just run at him, fine. I can just kill her, right? One auto is all I need. Oh, we're good. Um, did I flash and did I? What I I flash nothing. Okay, my flash was a little bit of a blunder. I'm not gonna lie. That was not that was not ideal, to say the least. I flashed into like the wall. I think this is Warda because he just immediately ran away. He's two, two, and through the Triforce. So I have to be a little careful. Did that see me? I wonder. Doesn't look like it. Nice. Cool. Snuck that in there. Dope. It worked out. All worked out in the end. Cool beans. This is how you carry, right? I poop on top lane. We bring that, that aggression to mid lane. We bring it to bot lane. We spread the love. Booyah. Yeah, Darius top is pretty hard, but it's manageable. Darius top is very manageable. Oh. I feel like he's got it. Before he does that, I feel like he has to give us a heads up, right? I don't know he's going to flash for that. Dude, I've got wit's end. I'm looking vulnerable versus Akali. I have freaking 109, 109 magic resist. That's why I also like on hit Teemo. Because when you're tanky and you can survive a beating, you can also do a lot more. Oh, okay. It's fine. Maybe. Okay, I don't think it's actually fine. Is it fine? I think it's fine again. Dude, they kind of wombo combat us. The Ezra ult right on top of the Zyra ult. That's kind of sick. I'm going to go bottom and get some more farm. I don't think I want to fight this. Doesn't seem that cool. That works. Maybe it doesn't work out that well. All right, Kale doesn't have anything up, so if we just run at her, we're looking good. She saw me, didn't she? That's fine. I think I have enough some scouting in my, in my jeans here. <laughs> Right on top of you, honey. Where are you going? Damn, Trono got a kill on, on, on Darius? Okay. Nice try. I don't think I want to go for that. Like, I, I would have to run all the way across the map while he's dashing and jumping over walls. That doesn't seem worth it when I can just push bot turret. I see what's happening, but like I said, I don't think it's worth my time. Come back. Oh, she's got riot. No, why am I so slow? Doesn't even have riot lies. Bonk. Can't run from that. An overlay? What do you mean an overlay? Oh, like, is that like blitz? I do not. What do I build this skin? What's my third item? I could go more damage or I could go tankiness. I don't think I need more tankiness. Let's go damage item. This is where it's hard because I think Kraken Slayer is really bad on Teemo. So what damage item do I go? That's what I'm, I'm kind of figuring out right now. Let's test Hydra. Titanic Hydra doesn't feel good, but it looks good on paper, so let's try it. Uh, the T1 clip came from, it's on my second channel, Manko 2. I played with him three games in a row, like I think in like season 9 or season 10. I was smurfing, so I don't want to brag or have an ego or anything, but I was smurfing and he was on his main account, I'm just saying. Um, but I played with him three games in a row on the same team. And it was fun because his whole his whole stream was like he's sniping, he's sniping, and uh, you know we won a game, we lost a game, and it was a good time. It was fun. And I always tell people if Tyler One doesn't flame you, you're a nobody, right? Until you get flamed by Tyler One, that's how you know you made it. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't say nice things about anybody. That's just how it goes. So it was, it was a good time. Oh, I definitely should have been uh, bottom at Drake. I messed up. I should have definitely been there. It's too late now, but my bad. 
Kraken's bad because one, it doesn't work on your lifesteal. So if you have lifesteal, which you usually do with this setup, it doesn't work on that. And two, it doesn't work with Rage Blade. And like the damage, it, it has a lot of damage in the tooltip, but that's every three autos, right? So every third attack, you do a crap ton of damage, but it's every third attack, so it's kind of a bait. If you didn't know, when you take, um, when you have lifesteal, Blade of the Rune King or Bloodline, that works on all your on hit items. So you're life stealing off your wit's end damage, you're life stealing off your rage blade damage, off your bork damage. That adds up a lot. You're not life stealing off of uh, Kraken Slayer. I, I think it is too late to go bork. I don't like going bork unless it's first item. It feels so much better at one item. Can I have this? I'm down to risk dying for it, that's fine. Nice. Black Cleaver's not really that good on Teemo, because, like, that reduces their armor. And if you look at what makes the item good, when you go Black Cleaver, it gives you haste, which is really good on AD champs like Vi and Lee Sin. It gives you health, which is good on Teemo. But this AD I'm not really using, and my damage is not just physical, it's, it's there's also magic. It's like 60-40 magic to physical. So I'm not really using the armor pen efficiently, I'm not using haste efficiently, I'm not using AD efficiently. That makes a bad item. Lethality Teemo kind of stinks. It, I, Lethality Teemo is just for fun. It's fun, but I don't think you should use it in rank. But Black Cleaver is an amazing item on other champs for sure. Just not Teemo. Oh yeah, Holebreaker is really good if you're splitting. Like, Holebreaker is actually so nuts on on-hit Teemo when you're split pushing. Good call, Tugwos. I should build that more, honestly. I just don't like committing to splitting. I, I like... I like um, being able to split as an option. I think when you commit to splitting, it feels really bad. I did not expect Zyra to be there. Nobody told me. So like when you buy Holebreaker, you're pretty much saying if I'm team fighting, I'm gonna be weaker now, which feels bad to me, but it could be really good in some games to be honest. This will give me 500 health, which is cool. It also gives me 15 AD, which is crap. It's doing 32 damage, but it procs a double. This item kind of sucks on Teemo, but we'll give it a whirl. Let's see how it feels. When I'm looking at it on paper, it feels bad, but maybe it's good. I don't know. It does work for your Rage Blade, so that's something. I'll go Stone Plate last item. It just feels like it doesn't do that much damage. It doesn't make you that much tanky. It kind of This feels like, um, like grass, where it's just like bad at everything it does. But I could be wrong. Hey, Wizrak, how the heck you doing? Sup? It works on turrets. That's pretty cool. Right? Or it doesn't? Oh, it, it does work on turrets. That is pretty cool. Damn, their Kali's unstoppable putting together a little game for herself. I messed up in my runes. I needed to go bloodline this game because I don't have the Bork. Oh, hey, guys. What's this about? There's a Zyra coming behind me. Dude, I'm slow as heck. They got me slowed up to Wazoo. Dude, how am I so slow? Who's slowing me here? The Zyra? That's not a slow. That's not a slow. Why am I so slow? Kale? Slowing. Okay, that's the slow. Dude, I feel like I'm getting hit by a freaking Mack truck. What's that about? Holebreaker, I think Holebreaker is, um, I want to start considering that, Tug. I think it's a really good call. Movement speed, attack damage, health. You get max value at everything except the AD. AD is not terrible, though. Yeah, Holebreaker could be pretty good. Would my Hydra do that game, that fight? 100 damage, it's nothing. Nilch, nada, zip, zada. Boots, what's up? I hear you yelling. Bootsy. What are you yelling in the living room? Who are you yelling at? I'm pushing. I'm pushing. Hey, Boots. Oh, there she is. Jesus. They're like dogs. 
I call Boot, she comes running in right to the lap. Same with Frosty. I feel like our cats are more like dogs than our dogs. Right to the lap. Join the chair. Frosty's on my chair, she's on my, my arms. I'm trying to game out here. Hey, that's not fair. All right, my team's going to fight, so I'm going to hard shove this inhib. You don't win by fighting. You win by getting objectives and inhibs and bases. So that's what I'm going to do. Good luck, guys. I wish you the best. I'll be up here. Ooh, they're coming for me. That's not good. Run! Get out of there! Noise. Dude, she's purring up a storm. Oh, don't go for the claws. Don't claw me. She can't kill me. She's gonna be all out of her damn mind. You better hope I can't. Oh. Doink. <laughs> nice try, a Kelly. Take that shirt and stick up your ass. I have 147 armor, ma'am. I mean, 147 MR, ma'am. Yeah, that's a that's a cold hard doinkening to the collie there. That is a doinkening session if I ever seen one. That's doinkylicious. Where are you going? You're going to our teammates. I might be dead. Dude, Zyra does so much damage. We killed Ezreal though. That's cool. Oh, Boots is going for a claw combo. She's going for the rolly. Don't rolly now. We're trying to end the game. Ow. All right, she's sitting very nicely. Like a little lady. Oh, no. I'm dead. Oh. Ow. Oh, ow. Ooh, ouch. Ooh. Bro, that turret is beating our ass. Bonk. Nice. All right, if we get this inhib, we need this inhib. I'm gonna ping it. That's a really good misfortune ult. Nice, our team kind of popped off. Good job from them. Good job, y'all. If we get that third inhib, that's all that matters, right? Wow, we live? He hits a shroom, can I have the kill? Can I have it? <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> nice. Dude, look how Boots Boot just sits. She's just chilling. Look at her. Just a good little noodle. She's like a Pokemon. She just wants to hang out. Look at her. Just hanging out. Watching the, watching the stream. She's like, can I play next? It's my turn. Alright, there's no way I can solo Baron, right? I'm going to solo Baron. This gives me vamp. I want that. Dude, if I get solo Baron, you all have to play on hit Teemo starting today. If I get solo Baron, there's no way this is balanced. Um, they warded it. That's not fair. I'm still gonna go solo it. Dude, get away from Baron. Look at your base, you dingleberries. Right, I'm gonna solo it still. Okay, I got this. I got this. I can solo it. I believe. <laughs> I can't solo it. I can't solo it. You know, I'm not going to lie. I forgot to build my third attack speed item. I only have two attack speed items. Thanks for the leash, nerd. Lol. I, I have life still. I got no damage. I forgot to build a third attack speed item. I'm messing up. Because I have the 12% from that, then I got the 3% from Doran's. Dude, Doran's weight is kind of good. It scales so hard. 
Uh, good night, Fish. Take it easy. We got one more good game left in us. Uno Mas. One more. One more good one. Let's do it. We're kind of on a roll here. I got to honor the Maokai. I told him I would. All right. Let's do it. One more good one. Dude, the good thing about not playing in Hilo, you just crank out the games. We are two, four, we're three and two today. If we make that four and two, that'd be a dub. All right, everybody say bye to the cats. I gotta get up for a sec. All right. Be right back. I wouldn't miss Q. Come on, I'm a pro. Trade, 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 trade. Trade, nice. Frosty isn't that nap time of the day, ain't he? Okay, last game of the day. Let's do it. Let's do it. Frosty, can I have my chair? No? Okay. Dude, he lets me get one cheek on. That's it. Gives me one cheek. Timo craps on Chogoth top when you do the on-hit build. Because Bork into, into Chogoth, into Scion, it's like you're doing double damage. With the regular build, I think Timo only wins if you have, like, the feetsies of a god, right? You're dodging and dipping and diving and dodging everything. All right, last game of the day. We're going to do another on-hit game. Let's, let's round it out with a nice last game. Because first Ribbon, Wukong, I get some armor, we poop on him. It's going to be free low. The feetsies, the foot beans, the tubs, the, the stubs. Let's do it. All 
All right, good luck, have fun, y'all. Last game of the day. Yeah, yeah. When I um, exactly. When I go wit's end, if I'm going wit's end instead of work, I do a bloodline. If I'm going work, I go alacrity. Because bloodline's okay. It's not amazing. It's like just okay. Alacrity is amazing. Honestly, I probably should just. Yeah, maybe no, because you need the sustain. Yeah, that's that's the right thought process. I think you take uh, bloodline only when um, only when you don't have uh, uh, bork. I only like to build with ten when I'm versus squishy APs. When I'm versus AP tanks, I still go bork. Bork is amazing as a first item, right? Like I can't underestimate how insane bork is. Bork as a first item is so nuts; it's off the chart. If you have to go wits end first, like wits end first is good because like you verse that cannon top lane, he poops on you a collie top. Wits end first is good sometimes too, but Bork is really where it's at. It's where you want to be at. But with this setup, right, overheal is really good rune. You get a shield from when you heal a little bit more than your, your max HP. So you get Doran's Blade that gives you Omni Vamp. You get the Bork that gives you Life Steal. Yeah, I don't start coal anymore. Cause the way the coal works out is that um like if you fight early game with coal, I feel like you're at a big disadvantage. And oftentimes the coal won't hit till after you get your Bork. Like if there's a world, if I could just farm 100 CS with, without fighting at all and get my Bork with that coal gold, it sounds amazing, but it just, it's, it doesn't work out timing wise. Cause oftentimes you get your Bork and your coal still hasn't popped and you have an extra gold for what, you know, nothing. I like getting the push going, so I feel like uh, if you have the push going, they can't kill you. That's pretty cool. Ruin with TP, wow. TP ruins are way less scary than Ignite ribbons. So we're just gonna try and bully her. I'll put a ward down just to get this pressy attack proc. Like this kind of wins you lane, right? I put my ward down, so now they can gank me, but I mean, look, I have Ruben on the ropes. So it's kind of worth it, in my opinion. I'll take my chances with the 2v1. I'll just keep shoving, too. I'm down for the Wukong gank. So we're, we're prepping for the Wukong gank. I'm ready to fight if Wukong ganks me. I gotta be a little careful with my health. I'm, I'm okay. Honestly, I'm kind of low. Kind of messed up a little bit. I'm gonna go another point in E just to really show her who's boss. Every extra damage counts right now. Okay, um, I may have messed up, guys. Oh, I really messed up. I'm dead. I blinded the clone. Okay, I played that as horribly as you could. I don't think I could have played that any worse. Like, that was as bad as I could play it. Rat. <laughs> You'll regret that. Yeah, I played that terribly. That was really bad. Ghost Flash is good for late game, but it's really weak early game. So if you say, hey, like the thing about Teemo, you can do whatever you want, but you have to align yourself. If you take Ghost Flash, he's pretty much saying like, hey, I'm never gonna fight them 1v1 until 14 minutes of the game when I have an item. But that's like a bad strategy, right? Never fighting until 14 minutes, you can't bank on that with League. So it's like, if you somehow pull it off to where you go Ghost Flash, where you're at a disadvantage to an item, and then at one item, you're, you might be at an advantage, then it's worth it, but that's not how League works. Yo, I'm dead again, I think. This is gonna be close. I pop the Ignite. Oh my God, that stun was so good. Come here, Boots. Come on. I don't wanna blame on the cat or anything, but I mean, my cat was on my mouse pad, I'm just saying. Nice, my wave doesn't push in, so it could be worse. This is fine. I'm I, I'm dying on purpose just to show you how to um how to play from behind. It's all good. It's planned, planned activities here. Try try and stop her base.
<laughs> Dude, Ribbon, why are you so mean? Be a rat? Now I'm gonna have to solo. Okay, now, listen guys, now I'm gonna start trying again, okay? She's getting a little rude with it. Now I'm gonna start trying, watch. Watch what happens. I'll, I'll show you to play from behind. You just gotta be a little tighter. Gotta be a little tighter with the gameplay. We're still in a, we're, we're in a good spot, don't worry. I eat ribbons for breakfast. Perma pushing is amazing. Like, the thing about League, you have to learn, you have to learn, like, um, what's actually happening. Like, I'm not, I'm not dying here because I'm perma pushing. I'm not dying because Teemo into Ribbon's a bad lane. I'm dying because I'm playing like a noob, right? And I have the knowledge to know that, so, like, I'm not going to freeze a lane there because I'm dying because I'm pushing. Like, I'm just playing bad, right? I'm walking into an melee range. And, like, when you learn that skill of, like, diagnosing the game properly, because a lot of players will be like, oh, my God, I lost lane for Zeus champ. Must have been my runes. Must have been my build. It's not really the case. And that takes a lot of time and skill. Okay, we're good. We're not good. Every time I die, I take a sip of water. It was close, it was close. I will go, since you're so fed, I'll go for the, the cloth armor. I don't think I wanna actually get the, um, the steel caps though. Guys, I'm just building I'm building up the bounty on purpose, trust. We're okay. Uh Riven's gonna kill him. Nice, that's good. I can get here in time. This is looking real good. Look at that, we kill her. She has no flash. Hey, come back. Ooh, that slowed her, right? It's gonna be close! Oh, let's go! And we kill Wukong, too. Oh, Nivea is coming. Got the shutdown. We're back in the game, baby. Good job, Shaco. Good job. I'll, I'll commit to the steel caps. I'll, I'll go defensive here. I don't like going steel caps first. I like in that Bork, but it's a special occasion. She have TP? I'm looking to see the TP. No TP? We're looking good. I'll go for a play poo. I may as well. I'm already one in three. What's another death gonna do? 175 gold is amazing here. Okay, Wukong, that's just rude, isn't it? I just wanted a tower plate, bro. These are wasting his time. That's pretty cool. Okay. Blade of the Rune King, come to Papa. I don't think I'm gonna go any pots. It feels too late for that. All right, if she plays well, she could dive me before I get to the wave, but let's hope she doesn't play it well. Got an auto off top gap. Yeah. Okay, we win now. Watch. I'm going to win the 1v1. Are you all ready? <clears throat> Do you all think I'm going to win this 1v1 now? I'm going to start winning. Watch. We're going to start playing better. Watch. Watch the spacing. Watch the kiting. Look at the moves. Look at the maneuvers. Never missing another CS. Never dying to her again. 1v1. Watch. Just wait for it. Wukong, you better gank me, buddy. If you don't gank me, she's dead. She's as good as dead on my screen. We're gonna we're, we're gonna fight on the tower too. We're gonna poke her. That was cute. That was cute. Nice try. I gave her a couple cool lead just so I could show you how to play from behind. <laughs> Watch this. Ready? 
Fed ribbon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> Fed. I got all the CS. We'll take it. Way pushes. It's all good. All good. I give my shutdown to Wukong strategically so Riven can't get it. Like, that's all good. Only down four CS now. Look. She misses the whole wave. And we'll lie. We'll lie to our team and say Wukong ulted just to feel good about myself. Seems good. Oh. Oh. Whoa. 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 No. Oh my god. We got a kill that's worth. Look, Wukong came top. Shaco goes mid and gets a kill. I should get that kill. I deserve that kill. All right, does she, is she going to keep pushing for a plate? Or am I going to kill her? Wait, I got the stealth up. Okay, let's see how greedy she is. I think she's going to go for another plate. She has no item yet. She still doesn't have first item, so we can do whatever we want. I think she has ult up. Ult cooldowns are really low. Ooh. Okay, smart lady. To be fair, I mean, I've gotten a lot of Wukong pressure so far, so being 2 and 4 is really not even that bad right now. I'm 2 and 4 only down 6 CS when Wukong has ganked me, what, three times? We're kind of gaming. Hey, Shaka, we should go to Herald. Oh. I'm not flashing here. It's all good. Got our ult and TP. Nice. I'll take my base. Be right back. All good. Get her TP for free. She misses more CS. That's a win if you ask me. Oh no, I had to go back to base. Oh god. I'm so worried. Oh, Shaco, don't die to the Riven roam. Riven can roam right now, young man. Yeah, we gotta back that up, guys. We gotta let's back that puppy up. I don't even want to take that fight, to be honest. There's no way Ari's gonna roam for that fight, so let's stay in our lane top. Okay, I can, in 20 seconds when I have Ignite, I can undoubtedly 1v1 her. Until then, I might have to be a little more careful. <laughs> nice shroom. <laughs> How'd that taste? Tastes like buttons? Shake is doing Herald. I like that. I don't think I even have to help him, to be honest. Okay, Wukong just based. Knowing this guy, is he going to come right to top lane? Maybe. I'll wait right here. I, I want to go for the 1v1. Oh, Shaco. Hey, hang in there, buddy. Hang in there, pal. I'm coming. Ooh, actually looks pretty good. We get the Herald, and we get the Wukong. And we get the Ribbon. You hit these charms, Ari. All day you hit these. I mean, anybody. We'll charm anybody. Oh, sweet God. Oh my god, I'm a beast. I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. We missed we didn't hit, we didn't miss the charm, we hit the charm. Good job. And we got Harold. Clutch clutch smite from Shaco. Winnable. I'm not gonna lie. No. Leona, stop it. Can I kill her? Should I ego it? Do I should I take the 1v1? She has ignite, that's not fair. She's practically using cheat codes. Beast! Jesus Lord! God! Did Michael Angelo come back from the dead and sculpt my hands to be a work of art? Or am I just a God League of Legends player? I honestly don't know at this point. I honestly don't. Like, what's going on here? Like, I think I'm a Greek God reincarnated with one purpose to play League of Legends. They call me. Team of Socrates. Okay, I'll shut up now. Let's play some League. I'm obviously not a wordsmith. All right, Riven's going to roam and kill my team. I'm just going to get this turret, though. There is enough fighting for now. Good luck, guys. You're all dead. I'm just going to push top, though. Have fun. Listen, let's be real. They're all dead without Riven. Ooh, Riven's not even over there. Okay. I was going to say, they're all dead even without Riven. But now they died, and they gave Drake.
We got a ball game on our hands, don't we? Hey, when I was 0-3, did anybody doubt me? Did y'all actually think I was 0-3? Like, without a game plan? Like, I went, like, listen, I, I love you guys. I went 0-3 just to show you how to play from behind. She just ulted, didn't she? Wow. Did anybody actually doubt me? You know I had it. You know I had it. Now, will we still lose the game? Maybe. Okay, what is this malarkey? What's going on here? I don't think she dies. Why is Anivia up here? Bro, I've gotten 14 Wukong ganks. Leona came up here. Now there's an Anivia in my lane? It's called the island, not the freaking party. You know, call me crazy, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to wait here for Riven. I'm going to kill her. She has no ultimate. There's no way... Okay, she's bottom. I knew she was bottom. Okay, we get a TP top lane. Guys, it's not that serious. It really isn't. She might kill me, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna stealth here and she's gonna just like crap herself and use all her abilities, I'm gonna die. Let's do it, why not? You only live once. Please don't use your abilities on me. Use them on the wave and we have a chance. I think that's what she's doing. Oh, okay, that's fine. Come on, use, use, use your stun. I need your stun. That didn't hit me. Use your stun. Use your stun. Come on, use it. Use it. Use it. Use it. Use it. Do I have enough damage? Oh, I don't. Good flash. Okay, we get her flash. That's fine. Sometimes that's all you could do. We got her flash and her egg. Like, that's fine. I'm out. I got a roll dog. Oh, come on. Come on. What are you doing toppling, Wukong? What are you doing? Why are you there? Hello? Why is he there? Does anybody have an answer? Why is he why is he top? This guy's been hanging out with me all game. Oh, we can kill her. She has no flash. No flash. Thresh, you're going the wrong way, bro. Oh. Maybe not. I have faith in my team 100 percent They're not gonna die here. 3v2. Okay. <clears throat> All right, um, so now we got a problem here. Although I have gotten ganked by Wukong 10 times, by Leona twice, by Nivea three times, and I'm still shooting on Riven, um, we still lose. So that's kind of, that's kind of unfortunate. That's just the life we live sometimes. Got that Shroom off, you like that? Look at the Bork power spike, it's not even close. Very nice. Is their whole team coming for me? I have a feeling I'm gonna die here. I'm out. Got a roll dog. I think it's still winnable though. Maybe, maybe not. We shall see, we'll find out. Stay tuned, folks. Hey, banger last game of the day. Win or loss, we have a banger on our hands for the last game of the day. I've got two cats in my lap. I've got six kills in my pocket. Should we throw a little banter in there? How do, how do we banter professionally? I don't, I'm not good at talking shit anymore. What do I see to Riven to grind her gears? I don't want to be that average top laner. Yeah, even with all those ganks, you're still getting pooped on. How do you really get under a Riven skin? How do I do that? Riven, your butt looks saggy. Eh? No, that's not going to tilt her. I don't know how to. I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not an expert anymore. I can. I'll, I'll down, I'm down for the 1v1. Let's dance, bro. Let's do it. Come here. You're, you gotta be alone, though. I'm not... Oh. Oh! Yo, guys, can we chill? Um, I gotta go this way. Bro, you're 7-2. and two. You don't need to call the bird to come on over. The bird's not the word. Oh my god, there's a Leona here, too! Run! Guys, there's a Wukong behind us! I gotta try and stop Wukong. Winnable? Oh my god, it's not. Aniva, Ari's here, she's got... We killed the Wukong. I caught too much AoE, I had to kite that better. 
I got way too much AOE. My bad. Yeah, Ari came in. Ari came in hot with the with the flash R. <laughs> Don't need a kill. Yeah, I could have played that better. I could have played that better. I needed to kite a little bit harder. We got the Wukong at least. That's progress, right? Could be could be worse. I don't know if doing that is the right idea, but I'm I, I'm a faith, I'm a believer. Yeah, there's no way Wukong doesn't come up and take Drake and say tie for the leash. <laughs> Shit goes like, mm, where do I go? Help, help, help. Winnable though. I think it's still winnable, believe it or not. The problem is, is that Anivia is strong. So like Wukong's fed, Anivia's fed, Twitch is having a good game. We have, I mean, we got... Uh, yeah, we are, uh, okay, let's try our best. Let's try our best. I'm gonna go Wits End third for the magic resist. Wits End and then uh, this could be a Zanya's game to be quite honest. Wits End Zanya's, but then I then my last item's gonna stink. Maybe Wits End Zanya's like a stone plate last. Because I will have health from overgrowth that will kind of carry the stone plate value. I will have a shield at least, right? It'll be at like two hundred health. Okay, it's winnable. I feel like they're not stomping us into the ground, so I'm down. Down to game it a little bit. Do a little bit of that old school gaming. Oh, I think Wukong's gonna be here, but I'm still down for the 1v1. Always, I'm a top laner. I might be dead, I'm not gonna lie. Yep, I messed up. I messed up, guys. I don't have Ignite. I didn't expect her to actually fight me. God, she's still going hard calling me mean names. I messed up, guys. No Ignite. I didn't expect her to fight me. We get the one for one, though. It's free. Nice. One for one. We'll take that. Honestly, that's we came out ahead because I get my team an assist, too. Nice ward by Thresh. Good awareness. All right. I gotta prepare my next. I gotta next time I'm moving with Riven. I gotta type something. What do I say? Maybe I'll just say I'll say new but down. Yo, they can't do Baron in front of our face like this. Riven's dead. No, we don't. Have, oh, run! They're not doing Baron anymore. Run! We got Wukong ult. Wait. I'm on my way. Maybe I get here in time. Maybe not. Okay. Nice try, guys. That was a good 4v4. Yeah, I wonder how this is going to work out for us. Ribbon's around the corner. Maybe I just wait for Ribbon. Oh! Ribbon's still around the corner. She's about to be here. The Shaco Box! Yo, that Shaco Box! I ignited him for the vision. Oh my god, it's winnable. No, I don't think we should do Baron, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna not sign up for that. Honestly, this game's winnable. Their team is not it does not feel like their team's pooping on us. I ignited Wukong just so I had we had vision of him. I didn't want him slipping away. I have my teammates near me this time. I gotta get some. I gotta get some XP back. She's level 15. I'm level 14. She's about to hit level 16 as well. Is Baron actually a good idea? I feel like that's this might be a scam. I don't think I should be going to my to this with my team. To be quite honest. Ooh. Riven, just no. Stop moving. Stop moving. Just let me kill you. Let me kill you. At least Ruben's not in the fight. That's kind of cool. Yeah. All right, we're all dead. And they stole Baron. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice. Did I say winnable? My bad. I I meant losable. Cool. We get Ace and they steal Baron. All right, we had a good run. Good job, everybody. Good job, Pack. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. Why isn't the button working? Hey, why isn't this working? Why isn't my button working here? It's not working. Is that a glitch? Is that a bug? Okay. Well, that was something else. Did you have 
Team get team gets aced and they still Baron on your bingo card. I didn't. I thought it was winnable. My mouse isn't working. All right, I don't think I'm gonna go team fight. I think this is the point in the game where we where we say okay. I'm gonna like I'm gonna chill for a little bit. I can't handle the emotional roller coaster. I'm gonna go farm top. Good luck at Drake, guys. Good luck. I wish you the best. If R Ribbon has the advantage here because I don't have Ignite and I started building Wits End versus enemy team. She's she's the one we want advantage for sure. But maybe we can do something crazy if she comes up here. She is bottom, but I'm just gonna keep on pushing. Cause like I said, let's be real. We're not getting that Drake. Oh my sweet lord. Yeah, my team's dead, but maybe I get a turret, that'd be cool. Like listen, at this point, even if we kill them, we're not gonna get the Drake. They're gonna steal it with like a, a Shaco with, with a shroom or something. Should I click yes, everybody? Should I click yes or no? What is what do the people want? I wonder if she has ult still. Top gap? It's top gap. Minions get away from me. I want the turd still. Alright, I'll vote no. We got we got a ball game on our hands. We got a ball game. No, not again, Leona. Don't do it. Come on! Oh, come on! I wanted to kill Leona again. Ruben said, bro, you're such a loser. <laughs> After I killed her. <laughs> Keep losing LP, summy. <laughs> what? What is it? What's a summy? Summoner? Is that slang for summoner, these damn young kids? I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Zanyas here. I think Zanyas is the right play. We go Zanyas. Because that's like our tankiness. I don't think I'm gonna engage in the smack talk with Ribbon. I'm not sure if that's gonna work out well for us. Oh my God. Wait, this game's still winnable by the way. They have Cloud Soul too. Cloud Soul's like the, use the useless one. I'm gonna go around the corner. I'm gonna go, oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I kill? I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm dead. Dude, I couldn't kill Anivia. Nice stopwatch from her. No chat, if I use my stopwatch there, I wouldn't live. I would still die, okay? I would come out of the stopwatch, I would die to the ignite, okay? If I use my stopwatch there, I wouldn't have died. Good stopwatch from Anivia. Why is the enemy team ragging on me? I'm the only one not getting shit on. Why are they all adding me? What did I do? Bro, I'm 8, 9, and 3. I got ganged 14 times. I'm the only one even close to a positive KDA. I've only won Ribbon 15 times. Why are they all talking to me? What did I do? What did I do to deserve this? Is it because I'm the best team in the world and the only person to ever hit Challenger with Team of Jungle? Is it because I make a 1? Yes, it is. That's why they're talking to me. What did I say to that? Winnable. Let's ride. Do I get an Elixir? I'm not going to get this item for like 14 minutes. So I think we get an Elixir. You, all we need is one good fight. If Thresh hits one hook this game, we win. He needs to hit one. If Ari hits one charm, we win. Has that happened so far in 30 minutes? No. Do I have faith? Yes, I do. That's a hook. That's a hook we were looking for. Not on their carry, but we'll take a ribbon. I have blind on her stun. Oh, Twitch is here. Okay, nice try. We killed the Anivia. That's worth it. That's worth it. Hey, that was a banger game to end on. Win or loss, that was a banger game. GG, y'all. Hey, we played from behind pretty pretty hardcore. That was good. All right, y'all. That was my last game. Thank you for joining my YouTube stream every Saturday at about 10 a.m. little educational informational grind on this account. We are currently, the rank's on the screen, but the account is 14 and seven and we're in gold four. So we're not posing 100% win rates, but listen, it's going well in my opinion. Gotta give it a jinx, she played great. 10 a.m. Central, yeah. Give or take 10, 15 minutes. GG everybody.
That was fun. That was a great game to end on, even though we lost. It was still a banger. And like I said, we punked that ribbon so many times. That was fun. All right. I'm not on Twitch. I have nobody to host, but I hope you'll have a wonderful day. Check out the VOD if you'd like, and I'll be having an upload coming later today and tomorrow. So GG's. Catch you on Twitch tomorrow. See you on my next YouTube video. Peace. Thanks for watching.